do while you're holding the rod, you can use your reaction to expend one of the rod's charges to force the creature to make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 2d10 lightning damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. That's, that's a that's really good a scepter. That's a good oh, scepter. That's, that's only on a reaction? Yeah. Shit, who would that, that work well for, I wonder? Well, it is now in my pocket. <laughs> now, for now. It's you not a good. rod in your pocket, or you? But, um... You know, after I found it that we were just nerdy okay, people, and this has been really dirty today, it's the spring weather for us Canadians, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I think this will come in handy for later, especially if we keep going on adventures. So I'm just going to store it right here for safekeeping for the party. In your giant Muppet pockets? Yeah. Oh my God. In my giant Muppet pocket. Okay. That's all good. Just ask me. Do you have issues with my giant Muppet pocket? Of course. I have no issues with you at all, buddy. Well, it's none of your business. Some of the, some of the things you do, possibly, but not yet. I'm You're lovely. all good. You're all I good do consider you one of my aren't friends. They, are, aren't those known as prison wallets? <laughs> <laughs> It's called a bag of holding. It's like a fanny pack. <laughs> Not where I'm from. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, if you're in a bad mood, it's a bag of holding. And <laughs> with holding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Creed, I'm sure we can make sure that Scepter gets used only for goods. Uh, and for destruction, I mean, that's what it's made for. Retribution. Um, Creed, did you want to purchase some scrolls? We kind of got in the way of your, your uh, mission. <laughs> Alright, so what right, kind right. of scrolls are you looking for? Are you looking for something to help? Are you looking for something to hurt? You just want to see and hear my whole list of scrolls. The spells here. I'd like to see what you have for necromancy spells. Necromancy. Oof. Well, I don't have much of that around here. While you're, While you're looking, looking, I casually, casually glance, glance at, at Stormzy and then back, back to, to the, the uh, owner. owner. Bar. Bar. Well, we got oh. rage here. We have a flame arrow. Hideous laughter, maybe? <laughs> um, maybe <Yeah>. not. <laughs> uh, identify, charm person, remove fear. Let's see, what what else? Necromancy, necromancy, necromancy. Uh, we got a lightning bolt. I, I don't suppose none of this really helps you, does it? Um... Well, that's about all, all I've really got, really. Sorry about that, mate. What is, what is lightning, lightning bolt? bolt? What does that one do? Lightning bolt, right. Uh, let's let me take a look real quick here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the Australian accent. Thank you. I think it's mostly an Australian accent, but it turns British a little yeah. bit, too. So. <laughs> My name's and Bob. Right. What you want from me, Come mate? On, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's it's a range of 120 feet. It's uh, instantaneous. It's uh, you can do a reflex saving throw for half. Um, powerful stroke of energy that deals 1d6 damage of electricity damage per caster level to each creature within its area. It begins at your fingertips and throws out. Is that'd it be three d six. Yeah, per... it's per caster level and to each oh. character or creature within its uh, area. Mm. I think I, I think actually might, might get, that. get that. I don't, I don't have, have quite, quite enough, enough attack spells. spells. I I have a quick question. What was, was that hideous laugh that you called that one spell? Oh yeah, hideous laughter. Yeah, so what does that do? That? Oh, let me show you. It's a good. <laughs> We just cast. Uh, how, how yeah. <laughs> tell us. Tell us. 
Don't you don't need a demonstration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just I already have that one. Let's see here. Uh... Sorry, guys. I'm just looking through the list of things I got in my inventory here. <laughs> Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> I'm gonna step outside for a second, guys. And then, uh, as I slowly walk out the door, I just start booking it towards the tavern. <laughs> you just can't even wait for us. The drippy tip! No, the drippy, the drippy tip. tip! Leaky tap! Leaky tap, people! Shit. Leaky tap! <laughs> start kind of cursing on my way to the... the... Leaky tap. I could want to call the jerky tip now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hideous laughter <laughs> is a concentration up to one minute. A uh, creature of your choice you see within range perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into fits of laughter if the spell affects it. Oh. They have to yeah. succeed on a wisdom saving throw or fall prone. Becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration, the creature with an intelligence score of four or less won't be affected. I was going to say, that's very similar to, to <laughs> what Jester that. has in Critical Role. It's exactly what Jester has, actually. Oh, shit, that's a pretty good spell. <sighs> it is a pretty good spell. Yeah. How much is that one? Uh, hideous laughter, it's uh, 150 gold pieces. I, yeah, that would be a search. I would gladly jump on that one, unless Creed, my friend, you would like it. No, I, no, I would like, I'd like, I'd like to get the lightning, lightning scroll. scroll. That's what That's I, what I like. How much is, How much that, is one? that one? Lightning bolt? That was 425 gold pieces. Okay. Okay. Big of the day. Yeah, you guys still have money left over from your previous game. <laughs> your previous <laughs> experiences together. <laughs> That I didn't get to be a part of. <laughs> you what? Not just you, Marjorie Foster. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Sorry, yeah, guys. No, it's okay. I was on the road, okay. so well, I didn't get home until like. Uh, lightning bolt was four hundred and twenty-five. Four twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept all the gold. They would never have known. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I kind of listened to the, the one shot with <laughs> parts of what I could. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the apothecary. Would they have, like, gunpowder or flint or... Um... Uh, the apothecary wouldn't, but the general store would. The blacksmiths would. Okay, then I can get what I need as a blacksmith. Uh, you can probably get it at a potion shop as well. Let me see. Yeah, potion shops probably for the uh, black powder, but yeah, and and, and there's there's an arcane shop be... also. I think what I'm trying to do with my my quarter staff might actually make it explode, so I need to go to the blacksmith to get like the metal <laughs> attachments so that it doesn't burst the wood. Right, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a pervert. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we all, we're all perverts. We're all thinking it. If it doesn't burst the wood, we need the metal attachment. <laughs> I sell those now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, you guys, whatever you guys are ready, you can meet me at the tavern. We get some roast chicken and some beer. Yeah. Point, point at all the nasty humans. <laughs> and laugh. Yeah. Lots of fun. I'll, I'll join you. I, I've got my uh, my new school. I know what the. Uh, I mean, just, just for bre the brevity, I, as I was walking out the door, I'll see you guys at Lakey Tap. <laughs> nice. He got it right that time. <laughs> Didn't call it the drippy tip. <laughs> the <Right>. drippy tip. <laughs> I, I, okay. I need another commission from Shadow, please. <laughs> 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 Shadow, no, no, no. Shadow, you're gonna be busy. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. I'm gonna oh, need a little drunken dwarf. I'll 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 make them and add them in for you again, like last time. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, there's a couple on my list. list. I'm like, I don't remember what this is, but I've got it. I think these are spell scrolls. 
should be. Yeah, two of them are added in. One of them I didn't quite add in yet. That was my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. a couple of them, couple of them I added. I just don't know how to access them. I'll have to mess around with this later. Um. All right. So you're at the at the pub. Yes. And what's everyone else doing? If they're, if they're all going to the pub, I trail behind. Now, is it is it a tavern or is it a tavern and cooking pot? It is a tavern and cookery. Mm. So, I mean, is there a place we can? Well, we just rest. But is there a place if we wanted to, we could get a nice sleep too? Uh, upstairs there is rooms. Yes. Okay. Well, this place looks absolutely lovely. Um, if you could, sir, good sir, I would like a round of drinks for the table and every roast chicken you can get. <laughs> every roast chicken. And then, and then I, then I kind of whisper into his ear, that's not a sir. <laughs> it's a dwarf, but she's, that's a female. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> just just making it up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Reason. You seem shocked. How many roast chickens do you have in your kitchen right now? What, four or five whole chickens in the coat? How many whole chickens? There's about ten? Yes. All ten chickens, please. Okay. She, yes, like, kids. writes up ten chickens, looking at you weird. Muppet born ordering ten chickens. Uh, two, two gallons of your finest ale, please. The finest. Oh, excellent. Oh, how That'll be our bourbon how beer. Fuck yeah, how much is the bourbon beer run for you? Yeah. Per gallon? It'll cost you five gold. Yeah, okay, I'll take I'll take two. Do you, do you carry any elvish wines? Wine? Elvish? Wine. We got a Interesting. Yes, yeah. actually, we do. We have one that comes all the way up from the area of Zadash. I would, I would absolutely, absolutely love a glass of that if I could. 30 silver, please. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can technically, technically do that? that? Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can. How much did you say it was? 30 silver. 30 silver. Okay, okay, I can do that. I can do that. Mm. All right, so ten Do you have any beef? <laughs> beef. Where's the beef? Uh. We have <laughs> boar and we have yak. Mm. I'll have some yak oh, and a yeah, pint sure. of ale. I, I, I think uh, the chicken will be enough for me. Yeah, just I thought they were all for bones. <laughs> oh, we're out of chicken. He's very hungry. I mean, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the noise in the bar. I mean, I, <laughs> I have a game I've read what Muppetborns do. They don't eat food. They just they absorb it. So there's going to be lots of food just left over. Like, if you do just Cookie Monster in it, there's going to be fucking food flying everywhere. I can just, like, monk. <laughs> 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 yeah, was like, what was there, like, an apple or something we saw, saw desecrated that way? way? Yeah, it was that way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So I, I, that's my plan, is just to watch him and, like, okay, you enjoy your chicken, and I'm just going to stand behind. <laughs> All right, so Mardred, uh, your yak and ale will cost you about three gold. All right, no problem. Bonesy, you watch three people come out with, like, all ten of these <laughs> chickens, just, like, juggling them and just kind of lays them onto the biggest table that they have available. What is the reaction of the other people in the bar who may have wanted to also order a chicken seeing a... <laughs> you notice one gentleman who is kind of out, like he's off in the corner watching. He looks like he's curious but also super disappointed. He's very well dressed. Uh, he's a male halfling, and then everyone else is just kind of like, "What the fuck is up with this? Is he having a banquet or like everyone's kind of everyone else is just like, what the fuck is these people doing?" 
So I'm, I'm gonna glance over at the male halfling and kind of nod to him. He waves very happily and starts rushing over to you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, uh, hello, little man. Uh, uh, hello. He puts his hand out. Hi, hi, I'm Waldorf. I'm Waldorf. Nice to meet you. Waldorf? Yeah. Like the salad? Okay. Don't, don't quite know salad, but my name's Waldorf Perryfeather. I'm a doctor, you see. I was very curious about your friend over here, the one in blue. Um, ten chickens for a Muppet born. I'm just, do you mind if I just kind of sit here and enjoy my ale and watch, watch him kind of <laughs> eat his food? Okay, and then I, I'm just going to look at him and talk telepathically to him as long as he don't talk to him too much. Right, right, right. It's going to cost you. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, the... <laughs> yes. So as you guys notice, um, there's more beer coming around. He's ordering you guys rounds, um, and you hear kind of people glancing over at this Doctor Perry Feather talking with you guys, almost shocked that someone of such high stature would be sat around a bunch of dirty-looking people. Just bear in mind that you guys, A, just got out of the water and off a ship. Yeah, we could probably use I am made of sunflower, so I... <laughs> Is that you, Bonesy? Yeah, it probably smelled a little musty. Like a stuffed animal left out in the rain. <laughs> That's quite the imagery. And so, so my food's laid out in front of me as I take the whole roast chicken and I just start... <laughs> <laughs> and those are nearby duck. Not me. I have I have a little butterfly net, and I'm catching the left. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll split the leftovers. Then. There's ten chickens. Oh, oh, we will. Will we? Well, I was catching the bits already. I'm seven I... feet tall, dude. Like I'm hungry. I'm three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I got splash zone. I'm in the splash zone, so I'm grabbing all the travel. Dr. Perry Feathers just watching him in awe as food's hitting him in the face. Watching him just like so enthralled. Oh, yeah, he definitely, he definitely got a pay for that. <laughs> we, we just got a hundred gold. We're fighting over the scraps of chicken. On the floor, there's all the bones and little bits of chicken on the table that's been mushed. And none of it looks appetizing anymore. Imagine like canned chicken. That's kind of the consistency of what the <laughs> my gullet. Uh, barmaid, can, can I get some boar over here? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, boar, right. Uh, anything else with your boar? Uh, another gallon of, uh, well, no. Uh, you know, just just bring me a cup of wine, a cup of, uh, of your ale. All right, ale. that'll be two gold, please. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, what, uh, what sort of doctor are you, Mr. Uh, Perry, uh, Perry Weather? Perry... Oh, it's, it's Perry Are Feather, actually. Um, yeah. Thanks for asking. Okay. I'm I'm super excited. Um, I've never saw a Muppet eat before. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I am a doctor who specializes in medicines. I save lots of people's lives and mostly work for the royals. And But I like, I like to help the little people. It's what I really like to do. So I usually travel from Port de Mali to Sadash, helping as many people as I can back and forth. Well, that sounds like a noble uh, quest you're on, helping people. Yes, I create medicines that help cure disease um, and, 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 and ailments of all sorts. It's, it's really lovely. I absolutely love helping people. Okay, as he's saying this, I turn over my herbalism kit on the table and start twisting up one um, <laughs> large cone, so to speak, of uh, herbs. And, uh, and I look at him, I say, you know, I, I just got into the healing business myself. Um, maybe maybe you could teach me a few things, because uh, I'm, I'm a little rusty around the edges. Oh, I'd be glad to. I'd absolutely love to help you. I see that herb you have there. It's really good for bringing on an appetite. Indeed. This is why I'm going to smoke <laughs> it before the boar gets here, because I lost all of my appetite watching him try to munch down those chickens. Ah, I found it rather fascinating. Yes. Oh, it's fascinating and disgusting. So, 
you, you guys are all travelers then, yeah? Your group of travelers, you just like to travel? I mean, yeah, we haven't done much traveling yet, but we're, we're looking to... Uh, bags are packed. We can travel, I guess. Right. Um, you guys wouldn't happen to be, like, places. for hire, Fine. would you? Mm. He doesn't know that. I'm sorry, what was that? Hire. Would, would you be for hire. hire? Like, like for an odd job, if I said maybe I need, like, bodyguards to get me to my next destination. Oh. You look, you look all oh. rather tough. I'm one of the best bodyguards in all the realm. You see, before I became a bodyguard, I was a detective. And, and so I, I'm very insightful and I can uh, pick things out from a distance. And as you can see by my colleagues, we are all uh, very much so bodyguards. From a distance. He can pick <laughs> things out. <laughs> I like that word. Excellent. <laughs> well, I'm heading to Nicodranas. And I have a very special medicine packet that I need to drop off there to help save... Um, there's a little desolate area within Nicodranas, and there's lots of people dying. And I have a medicine that can cure that entirely. I don't want these kids to suffer anymore, and it's, I'm just giving it away for free while I'm on my way to Zadash. So, I was just wondering, it's kind of dangerous between here and, 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 Z and Nicodranas. I was wondering if maybe I could hire you guys. Maybe say... 150 gold a piece. And, and you're, you're going to help children? Yes, yes. Now, it's a noble cause. The children is a very noble cause, and I haven't given time that one 100%, but the path of Nick and Dramas is very long and arduous. So 150 gold a piece, it's not going to cut it. No, right. it's not going right. to cut it. I think we're going to do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't speak for all of us. You know what? <laughs> he speaks for me because it is. It's a noble cause. It's a holy I cause. Hand, I, I, I hand this out to the to the healer. Would you like to get an appetite? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm all right. I need to make sure I keep everything sane and and logical because this medicine is very important for these kids. You see, um. And I telepathically I say, hit it or I'll hit you. Roll an intimidation check. Gladly. <laughs> Some little halfling, just yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the doctor is a halfling as well. Halfling too, that's true. <laughs> well, he's a doctor, I'm a halfling, he's a halfling. It's a I had a mouthful of tea at that point. <laughs> what was it? Can I? An 18. I had a, a mouthful. Alright, you see him... it almost went all over the computer. You see him hesitantly take it and then start coughing and hacking. And he's like, nah, this this... It's really not for me, but thank you I'm anyways. Pat him on the back and say it's, it's, it's not <laughs> Well, I mean, we're all hearing this, so I choose to do this for free because it's it's a noble cause. It's a noble quest. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the gold that they won't take. I'll take all of the gold that they won't take. Hey! 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 Payment, and I will give it to the sick children at the end of the so road. So are we, are we helping the sick kids along the way, or is it just if we get you to Nicodramas, then you can help the kids? Yeah. Once I get to Nicodramas, I can help the children. Um, there's, it's kind of a disease that's attacking anyone that's not human. And okay, and as as we really need to help the them. His, his split, he says, "Okay, fuck it, I'll do it for twenty. He drops mm. down a bag of 800 gold as a pre-notion of how serious he is. And like you notice, thing. like, you notice a bunch of people kind of looking still really shocked that he's talking to this dirty ragtag team mm -hmm. of people. Now, I would ask before we leave... Oh, um, we should shit. be able to pay for our room and board for the evening, so that we would be able to get cleaned up and be a uh, fighting shape for you the very next, uh, uh, for, for the mission. Right, so, I'll do that. I'll pay for all your rooms. It's only fair. I mean, when we travel know. over to Nicodranas, it's, it's, it's going to be a two-day travel. Hey, you guys, we're all taking this, this guy at his word. Yeah. He's just some happy little halfling that comes over saying, I want to help the kids, I'll pay you 800, 800, what? This is too much gold to, I mean, this is, 
everybody in this place is looking at us like we are some scum and this guy's coming over giving us money for without even doing anything. This is really pretty freaking sketchy to me right now. I'm just, I'm just freaking out a little bit. I, beer. I think you need to uh, calm down on your magical herbs there. <laughs> <laughs> If if yes, you want, I, I you be, can. I might be getting a little paranoid, but I mean, it's it's better to be safe than sorry. If you want, you uh, can roll an insight check. Wrong. We we can sleep on it. All right. So he pays for your rooms. They're oh, definitely geez. like Worse. super nice rooms. Oh, you can tell that he wasn't willing to put you guys out any further than he already felt that he was putting you out. So you have the best rooms in house for the night. Is there any sort of bath that we can bathe ourselves in by chance? There is a bathhouse bath just next door. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna. We'll all just head over there. And do a nice little. Sleep. We'll just have one nice big communal bath. Yes. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And we could have got a bar from the from the Apothecary, whatever. Could you tell I put all of my effort into that one response? Yeah. So very clear. <laughs> yep, yep. All right. So you guys go to the bathhouse. You enjoy yourselves. I don't know how that works for a Muppet born, but awesome. You guys are gonna have to ring them out or something. Basically. <laughs> Putting him on the ringer, like, scrub, scrub, and he's loving it like it's like we're petting a dog or something. I was uh, imagine. Why don't you ask him <laughs> instead of assuming that? <laughs> I'm here? Of... I don't know. That was out of game. We're not actually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys want to head back to your rooms, and then what do you go to you guys up to? You're currently at the bathhouse. Yeah. Um... You know, get all scrubbed up, and then I'm going to head back to my room. I'm going to uh, read uh, that uh, and study that scroll to get it. Right, uh, right, yeah. yeah that's, that's what I do as well. well as well. All right. To my repertoire to get transferred into my spell book. I'm going to talk to the barkeep. And I am going to send a wee person out to uh, find myself a companion for the evening. Because I've been stuck on a boat, and I need... And I need a friend. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's see if this person comes out of the room in the morning. I'm going to go for uh, what time of the day is it now? Possibly, Possibly missing a finger. finger. Right now, I would say it's nearing midnight. I'm going to go for a midnight stroll down the street. Okay. Uh, I, after the bath, I I only have uh, maybe a half a gallon, or like just that cup of, of ale left. I, maybe I grab another cup of ale from the tavern or something. Okay. I'm just walking down the street with a cup of ale. All right, Bonesy. I'm talking to the um, in the air. So, just so you're aware, with the transferring of my my spell, I rolled a 17, so I did pass. Awesome. Um, also, there is someone from the Fuzzy Navel knocking on your door for companionship for the night. The Fuzzy Navel is at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the one in this town. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, I, um, we're gonna play a part cheesy. Oh my god. <laughs> and Margaret is going to talk to the barkeep. I want to talk to the barkeep. I want to ask him some questions about the gentleman that we're about to um, escort to the next, uh, in the next two days. Ah, uh, yes. Dr. Perryfeather. Um, lovely healing man. He's an amazing person to know. He has quite the connections, though. With whom? Connections with whom? Royalty, guards, knights. He, I've even heard that he has connections in the Thieves' Guild and all the Dark Underground stuff as well. Okay. So you would say he was a trustworthy man? Very much so. Very true to his word. Very dangerous to try and fuck over, that's for sure. Okay. Well, I don't plan on doing that. I, I'm true to my word. I just wanted to know what kind of company we were about to uh, to join, basically. With him, I wanted to make sure that he wasn't going to uh, sell us out or have us killed. You know, something like that. So. <laughs> He's definitely a man to be trusted. Um, 
his connections is what makes him to be a scary person to some people based on how they interact with him. Well, that's exactly it. So we'll interact as cordially as possible and do our job as best we can. So thank you for that. I'm going to head up to my room and uh, get to sleep as quickly as possible. All right. Kari, you're still out wandering. Yeah, I'm waiting for everybody else to do what they're going to do, and then I'll say my piece before we go to bed. All right. If that's okay. Yeah. Serafina, are you up in your bed, too? (laughs) Okay, so I'm wandering the the streets for about an hour, and uh, I enjoy the air and, and, uh, you know, just kind of wandering up and down the alleys, taking in the sights of, you know, different parts of the city. Uh, about 40, 40 minutes in, 45 minutes in, I see just this little kind of bunch of sticks. And it's, it's I kind of surround it with uh, some dirt around it and use my uh, glass blowing tools to light it on fire and just stare into the fire for a little bit, give myself a good five minutes of my own personal fire time and then stamp it out and walk back to the, uh, the inn and go to sleep. Nice. All right. So you guys wake up as the sun is coming up the next day. Um, Dr. Perry Feather is sat down having breakfast in the pub downstairs. I I, I run downstairs um, with my companion for the evening, and I thank <laughs> Dr. Perry Feather for his generosity with room and board. Ah, so happy you can... I'm so delighted. I didn't even know that Muppet Born Sleep. I'm so, 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 so excited. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm just going to pass the 800 gold coins that he laid down on the table over to Marjorie and say, oh, here, hold on to this. You're, you're, the, you're the honest one, so we're, we're supposed to be doing this for free. He gave us money. Yeah. All right, I'll put that in my pouch. Um, I'm not going to put it into my actual account yet, though, until, you know. Fine. Yeah. yeah. I know we have 800. Um, I do want to pick up some more um, water skins and things like that. I feel like I might have used them while we were on the boat the last time. So yeah, I need to pick up so some there's road, um... road food, like tack, hard tack and stuff like that. So. All right, there's a general store as you, like, yeah. as you guys are deciding right. to head out of town. Um, no, I'm, I'm not heading out of time. I need to go to the blacksmith. Okay. Yes. Actually, I'm going to put yes. it in my money so that I know. Oh, that's not going to come back. But I don't know. Let's we'll see what the blacksmith has. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're going to head over to the blacksmith, then. Yes, please. Please let it be the one blacksmith I'm thinking of. Oh, no, I think he's in Zadash. Yeah, definitely in Zadash. Damn it. We'll get there. We'll get there. You guys will get there. I mean, the doctor did mention <laughs> the fact that he does travel between Port Damali and Zadash, and his final destination is Zadash. The good doctor is question mark. Because um, um, it says I can, I can start. start. Would I be able to buy darts and start using them, or is there something I have to do specific? Equip them. Yeah, because it says dart. Is there anything yeah. in them at the blacksmith? Okay. Might actually do that. I will do that. I will. I will. I'll go with cars. I'll go with cars. Since he's going to the, the blacksmith. If you don't mind company. Of course not, my little teeth in the print. Oh, oh shit, shit! That's, that's what I should have done. done. Um, um, well, well there, yeah. Um, I asked the blacksmith if he if knows, he knows of, a of a way or a specific spell, spell that can enchant, enchant the darts to always, always return to me when I throw them. them. <laughs> Boomerang darts. Mm-hmm. That, way that way I don't have to go chasing, chasing them. them. And if it goes and too far, or, or, we'll know, we'll know the way I roll if I'm aiming here and it goes way the fuck over there. I don't have to chase them. Not <laughs> quite they're yet. Really cheap. You don't, you yeah. don't really yeah. need them. Unless they're like gold darts. <laughs> I don't want to run out. 
but I know my rolls are really shitty, and I can never do that. Put me on me. If you need more, I'll I'll just I'll I'll give you some more. Okay. Okay. How much? I'm still want to get. I still want to get the darts. But I'll see if I can enchant them sometime later. Find something. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Blacksmith. Hello, there. Uh, I see you're eating something. I'll give you a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's not chicken. <laughs> hello, there. How can I help you? Oh, hello. Yes, uh, me and my, my teeth and friend here were looking for a few goods. Um, yes. She was looking for some darts. Uh, I, I suppose you have those. We do. They are five copper pieces apiece. Five oh, copper. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, Grab a couple of handfuls. Uh, oh, there it is. So, so. You and said then five, copper five copper each? Copper each? Yes. Um, how many, um, would, how many would a silver get me? Sorry, I have eight, eight copper. Sorry, I have eight copper. I hate math. 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 Does it scale 10 up each time? Or is it 100? I thought it was 20 copper per silver. No, it? it's, it's 10 copper per silver. 10 it's copper. Silver. Okay. Yeah, so it's 10. Yeah. So, so you get two one, parts. One silver. Yeah. One silver per two. Um, so if, so I, if give I give you. you... What's a nice. It's nice multiplied by two. Yeah. Yeah. So if you give them 10 silver, you get 20 darts. Yeah. Yeah. So all they, so they do is they give you 10, 10 silver. All right. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna. Uh, what? I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Ah, yes. My name is Treacle. Crickle? Treacle. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, I kind of hold out my 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 uh, my quarterstaff and um, say now. <laughs> There's something I would like to do to this quarter stuff. I'm not sure if you have the, the expertise I need. What exactly do you want done? Well, see, what I wanted to do was, at the ends, since it's made of wood, basically fasten some uh, metal cylindrical tubes on the you end. You want to cap it. Well, to, cap to, make, it. to make an extra metal piece on the end of the quarter staff, Basically, with a hole drilled in, it, I'm just going to say it quickly, hole drilled into it so I can put liquid in there, alcohol, high proof alcohol in there, and I can drink it if I want, or I can pop the top off with a little flint on it and jab somebody with it and with some fire and make booze. That sounds very doable. What kind of material are you thinking about? Well, I do, I do have this adamantine chunk here. That uh, I think would look quite nicely attached to uh, either side, if you could melt it, smelt it down for me. Yeah, that'll take me a couple hours, though. Oh, a couple hours—that's that's no problem. All right. Are you and sure? Then, um... Better ask our uh, leader guy. Yes, uh, I, I thought we were supposed to be going to on a mission. Oh no. Well, oh well, yeah. I just wanted to do this real quick. <laughs> a couple hours. I'll be as fast as I can. But well, guys, I, I, I wasn't sure if the doctor said like you could leave right away. Like we asked to get a, re a night's rest. I right now is like you, you guys are at dusk so. right now, and it's going to be a two-day travel between Port Zune and Nicodrana. So, like dawn. Yeah, it's yeah, dawn right it's now. Dawn. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. Okay. Cool. So I might. It'll be done by eight or nine. Yeah, but he wanted to start early. I thought to get there early. You guys should be yeah. fine. I think we'll be oh, okay. Yeah. All right. A couple of hours. The staff will cost you about right. 50 gold. This, this, this is really... This is really <laughs> it'll, it'll give you guys... <laughs> this is the only thing I want to do. It'll cost you about 50 gold, and... um. Yeah, you guys should definitely make sure you have supplies for your two-day trip and what have you. Okay. So I, I just I... paid for that. <laughs> True, yeah. Oh, for the supplies? Okay, um, and then you know, fifty gold, and then is there anywhere I can buy like the tavern or something, some very high grain alcohol, the apothecary maybe? I'm not sure. 
yeah, you could probably buy that at the uh, at the general store, or you could go back to the pub and just buy it straight from them. Since, you know, you guys just left the pub and the doctor still sat there <laughs> eating his breakfast. <laughs> I'll, I'll say, okay, well, I mean, Creed, are you, are you done with your darts or anything yep, else? Yep. Is there, no, oh, no, I'm sorry, let's, let's, let's ask the last one. Do you have anything, you know, possibly enchanted or special in your inventory? Me? Me? Oh, no. yeah. I got these sweet boots I made. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are they they have, they're like feather falling so when you fall you can actually like not fall as hard ah okay some slow fall boots i mean that would that would be nice for say marjorie or something they also help with stealth oh how, and how, how much are those running for uh 800 gold 800 could i put those on layaway by chance can you hold those for a couple of days for me I can hold them, that's for sure. What color are they? Whether they get sold or not, who knows? What color are they? Oh, color. they're made of leather. It's a dark leather. I made it out of yak. Oh, yeah. Horrible color. Something with my yak. Yak. So, uh, I'm already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, my name's Bob. So, you can hold them for Bob for, for a couple of days. I'm um, hold. For I mean, on Bob? Hold for, on hold for a week. If you, if you can hold for a week without selling them, I'll come back and give you yeah, On hold. Seven days. Bob. Great doing business with you, Bob. Come on. Well. So, all right, so that's 50 gold for me. I got the... Oh, all right, so I'll come back and grab that before we leave town. Um, Creed, would you like to go back to the pub? Yes. Yes. Let's roll. Oh. Question, Carl. Why did you tell the blacksmith your name was Bob? I don't want people to know who I am. Nobody oh. knows who I am so far. Plus, I'm also wearing my, I have to say this, I'm wearing, I did get a mask um, with my Way of Mercy. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't decided on making it just completely blank white yet, or just this giant, I think it's just, okay, what it's going to be is like a uh, Mardi Gras face, like a laughing one, but kind of the more like demonic, wicked looking. So okay. I'm so done with masks, and you're talking about wearing a mask in our game, too, bro. <laughs> 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 you Americans are lucky you're all getting the vaccine. Us Canadians are still waiting, okay? So. You never know when the I'm plague just... is going to strike. <laughs> and and I, from, from, I guess, my the what they call my characters, the plague doctors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys, I almost asked for shadow. I'm wearing my mask and, and my name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Liv almost asked if you were in Canada. <laughs> oh, that's no, cute. No, no, no. no. Yeah, no, she's, yeah, she's in, she's in Ottawa. I, she's I, got her I, own, I, uh, I, she's got her I, own I, country I, over I, yonder. I, I right on the border. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so you guys head back to the pub, the Leaky Tavern, and, um... I'd like to ask this guy some questions, if I could. Yeah, Dr. Pearfeather is just finishing up his meal, and, uh, looks like he's just tinkering with some of his things, preparing his medicines. Right. How was your meal? Ah, it was great, it was great. How was your day? I see you went out early. Yeah, yeah, I had to get some things done before we head out this morning, um... So you say you're you're out to help children. Is this? How did you come across this mission? Are you just uh, halfling atarian? Well, I'm like, I was just in Port de Molly, and I'm on my way over to Zadash. But first, I wanted to stop here in Port Zoon to pick up some supplies. They have really good supplies and really great prices. And then I'm gonna go over to Nicodranas on my way to Zadash, since there's nothing really here between. So I'm going to stop there before I have to go through the gorge, you see, and the gorge is quite dangerous. And then I'll be uh, heading to Sadash. Okay, so stop. I just want to help people on my way. Stop, well, stop, yeah, stop. Yes, okay, yes. Right. 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 <laughs> yes, okay, just stop. Um, who do you work for? Yeah, I work for myself, but I work for lots of other people. They can hire me. Um, okay, that's there's it. some Insight royalty check. and there's... Oh, okay. Insight check. Do it. <laughs> 21. 21. Give me the... Fuck. 
All right, so he definitely, uh, as as Marjorie knows by talking to the barmaid, um, he works for a lot of underground people. Oh, that's but, what that part was. Okay. Yeah, so he works with a lot of underground people on the side of his actual doctoring. And his doctoring, he is a humanitarian, but he Tiefling also... Tieflingitarian! <laughs> Halflingitarian. Um, and he does... Can say that. He is oh, often me. hired by royalty, and he is often hired by larger factions, as well okay, as so military. So he kind of, okay. like, is a full-rounded doctor, but he has really high connections. Okay, so, so it sounds like this is a good guy to know. Like yes. a mob boss, like a mob doctor who has his hands in the pockets of politicians. Um, with, with the, sometimes I'm, just, I'm with Tara. 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 I'm with the Clovis Concord? Yeah, I think, yeah. The, I think that we are part of the bad people he's associating himself with right now. <laughs> I mean, based on your your last adventure, y yeah. Um, right, so... I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be killing any more officers. I should probably get rid of that fucking that's that's a bad thing huh? right so oh you guys goodness. uh it's been now so about we, like an hour hour a, and a half are we gonna get a cart do we want to uh, get it like a little cart and some horses to make the ship go faster so we don't have to just makeshift tent it every night well let's ask terry make feather sure. what he's got oh he might yeah he's doing with all the gold the money yeah he wouldn't be walking. He'd be taking like That's some kind of true. Some station. We're his armored guards, so mm -hmm. there's got to be some kind of cart he's been. And you need to go pick up your staff from the. Yeah, that would just be on the way out of town. Hour, so. Yeah, that's yeah, it's I'll definitely on the road. same road on the way out of town. Same with the right. general goods store as well. well All right. Sorry. Does everybody have their rations and their water skins filled? Yeah. Uh, I still have like I think I bought twenty um, when, okay. when we were on the boat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got enough for like 12 days boat, now. So so. I, should have I actually don't know, know if I have anything, anything like that. that. You would have a, a mess kit and um, rations. With one ration, you just need to buy more because you're supposed to have mm -hmm. one per day. Unless we, we go out hunting or something. I got 12. <laughs> right. I have to, yeah. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have anything, anything at all like that. that. So so if we go into your inventory, it should come up as rations further down the road. It's ten gold a day for for rationing set. So yeah, no, yeah, no, I got like doll, doll book, small knife, small knife, four staff, staff cartridge, little, little bag of sand, sand ink, pen, ink, dart, dart crystal, 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 point of pack, and fucking backpack. So you should probably buy one at the uh, general store. You should buy at least two rations and two uh, two water. I just or type, water skins you can fill it. You'll just type in rations into the uh, oh, into D and D Beyond, and then uh, add a game. Search. Karina, is there anywhere in? Well, I mean, it's kind of in game, but is there anywhere in this city or in Wildmount where I can buy my own herbs, or do I just have my own supply of my own herbs? You can in Port Zune. You also can in Nicodranas, where you guys are heading. Um, it... I do want to make ailments and stuff with my herbal kit too. It's just the bottom of the kit that I'm supposed to buy. Right. So the potion shop has like herbalism kit. Um, poisoner kit, spell wow. components, which would be like all your herbs and stuff like that. And you can get a bunch of other things. We should get some, some maybe some health potions on the way out of town. You guys think? There's I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, maybe we can wait. I mean, we did just get 800 gold from this guy we haven't even spent yet. Well, we, we shouldn't be spending the money until the, the mission's done. Okay. And. Yeah. And I mean, I'm absolutely, I, I'm flat broke. I, don't I still know. have, um, I still have potions though. I don't know where uh, we're getting the money for these potions. Have, okay, well, no, I mean, I have some money. I could probably pick one or two up. 
I do have a one. I still I have, have 242 many. gold, which means, and I'm not really buying anything else. How many versions of this have? It's just one I per day. I, I potions. It's one per day, and you're one. traveling for two days, so. Yeah. I have, and plus, I have, I have healing. I can I heal too. I, I have some extra rations I can give out to the group. I have 20, yeah. that, so that's enough for the group for four days. And I got 12, so, yeah. yeah. I have something else. I'm trying to add seven darts. I'm trying to add 20 darts. It still says I have one. Okay, well. We'll work on that after. Just write, like, write it down in your notebooks. And yeah, then just we'll... write it down. Work on the equipment stuff after. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so... Uh, are we are we ready to head out then? Uh, do we know what what? I'm sorry. We were asking him what kind of vehicle he has. Right. So I have a carriage, and the carriage can carry about six people. And then I have two horses that are pulling the carriage, and somebody can ride on the horses. But there's also a seat in okay, front of the carriage that you can sit too. Well, the one horse's name is Tinkles, and the other one's Sprinkles. Okay, that's I want to ride that right, one. Let's go. I'm going in the cart. I'm not riding the horse. I'm going in the cart. Okay. I want to ride Tinkles. There's <laughs> Tinkles and Sprinkles. I hope it's a big horse. They're they're both Clydesdale horses, so they're very large horses. Oh yeah. Oh damn. Okay, he's riding freaking taller style. This is a good way to start. Get the hell out of the city before anybody. Doesn't notice us. I mean. Okay, so. So the little bench that would be at the back. Nice. So are you guys gonna stop at the general store on the way out, or are you just gonna just? Well, yeah, I'm gonna get my my quarter staff. Right. Safe. Okay. So you guys all load up into the cart. He's super excitable, as you can tell. Um. At the tavern, I got the liquor. Uh, the the, the high proof <laughs> liquor. How much would the high proof liquor cost me? Uh, three gold. Three? Okay, I'll buy like three of them. So nine. All right. Okay. All right. So you guys stop at the blacksmiths first. And you can pick up your yep. staff. Grab that. And. You, as you're heading out of town, you notice a very large general store. If anyone needs anything, just let me know. We'll stop. I can stop. There's a general store. Do you need anything? Anyone? 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 Cree, you want some more rations? Um, I bought, I bought two. two. My bond, my bond, two. I've got enough to help you out if you uh, if you run out of rations. So we're I good. mean, while we're here, might as well just, just stock up. Because mm, I have enough for two days. days. Is there anything we're going to need on our trip that we wouldn't normally carry? Um, per Perry Feather? Yeah. Hmm. Um, let's see here. Well, as long as we have food, we can use the carriage shelter. And I think that's, I think that's it. I have all my medicines, so that's good. Oh, he's a okay. healer too. We're going to be fine. Uh, uh, you know what I would like to buy? I'd like to buy a tarp. Do you think I could find a tarp somewhere? A tarpaulin? I know that's a pain in the ass thing to ask about, but... If not, that's fine. Uh... Like a wax, a wax, a wax cloth or something like that to cover us if we get, like... If it starts raining really hard or something that's like that. That's what you said, the her carriage is covered. Oh, is it covered? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the carriage is covered. Right. Yeah, yes, so we He's, he's very hoity toity. He there's definitely no way he's he's traveling yeah, with us. weather. Like and we're all different sizes, so all right. I would like to buy a tent. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. I'm seven tall. <laughs> yeah, that is true, you are quite tall. Alright. So... I may be five foot, but I am a big five foot. Like I am a dwarf. <laughs> like I take up space. Like yeah. Yeah, I'm a stocky three foot. All right, a tent, a tent will cost you about <laughs> two gold. <laughs> I, had to, I had to beat Mardred. Oh God, I don't care. You can take him. That's fine. <laughs> what the, what the con, what con, con, con? Okay. Um, uh, Clovis. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. con, the Clovis Concord. I grabbed a medallion. We killed the, their their captain on the deck of our ship. Well, I, I put my as misery. Are you, like, um, speaking to DM, or are you speaking to Perry Feather? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm speaking to Creed. She, oh, okay. Right, word. right. That's okay. Just wondering if Perry Feather was hearing any of this or not. Oh, no, that, yeah, that was out of game. Okay. <laughs> my last session. No, 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 yeah, no, no. <laughs> 
All right, so... That boy's got a lip on him. Yeah. So you guys have all your stuff, and as you start heading out of town... Do, 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 do. That's my favorite boredom song. The doo doo song? I can attest. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> I can't sing it very well right now, but. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so you guys head out of Port Zune and you're heading towards <laughs> Nicodronus on that that little dirt road um you get to about you get about halfway um you notice it's starting to get dark you guys are all starting to get a little tired of just riding in a horse carriage or on the horses so you stop about midway and you set up camp there's a campfire um I like the campfire. <laughs> and it, it, at first, at first, it's kind of like raging, but then I, I built it so that it, you know, it kind of does a burning man at first and then just calms down. So everybody kind of freaks out. Just wait. All right. So as you guys are setting up <laughs> camp and it's starting to get dark, um, you notice that there is, there's noises coming from the Nicodronus way towards you on the road. So you can hear horses and you can see a faint light on on the road and they are heading like towards you. To roll a perception check to see if I can recognize the um the the outline from the uh in the darkness with the, right. from the light. If I can, I can, if I can see in the oh, dark light. up to sixty feet because so I'm okay. a so yeah. We're just, <laughs> we're, just, we're just hearing from a distance, so we can't really. See. I I rolled a ten. I have no idea. What, and so my <laughs> yeah, you're just looking out there, and you don't really see much happening. Um, I'm gonna do a roll well. Yeah, you know, so can we all like, do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, all of you. Let's see. Let's see what you guys got. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. So. Margaret, you notice that there's two horses and what seems to be a lantern on a carriage, but you don't really recognize the horses, the carriage, or the person that is on it. Are we off the road, like, or, or are we, like, still... You are like... slightly off the road, yeah. Okay, so are they coming right at us, or are they kind of on the other side? Like, are we sure? They're really coming kind of towards you this way, and you guys are, like, camped just off to the side, so you're in, like, this little dippy area here. Okay, so, all right, well, I'll stand up and kind of gear up because this is what we're here for is protection detail, right? Yep. So I'm going to gear up and just stand up there with my uh, my shield and my uh, big-ass battle axe. So I'm, I'm going to take a very small sip of the, the high-grain alcohol. Periwinkle? To, to or, sorry, peri-feather. The, the <laughs> Dr. Um, Waldorf peri-feather. From behind on, on, to, to the back of the carriage and kind of uh, conceal myself and, and hide if I can. All right. Um, I, as, I, I'm assuming no it's action, uh, do I need to roll a stealth check or? Yeah, give me give me a stealth check actually. Okay. Oh. So as this hey, carriage is coming closer and c oh my god, okay. So you notice the carriage is coming closer and closer, and. You trip and fall as you're trying to stealth, and then instead you just kind of lay on the ground like, maybe if I don't move, it won't see me. <laughs> awesome style, okay. And all of a sudden, Creed and Bonesy recognize the figure that's on the carriage coming towards them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Guys, I'm gonna like, guys, I, I, I hear them hollering. Hmm. I get up. Mystic? What's a mystic? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get my clothes all dirty for this? Acquaintance of both my myself and, and Creed's, 
and um, for, for lack of a better term, um, together we stopped an orphanage from burning. Okay. Well, okay. Any friend, uh, any friend of uh, Bones. Free the big choke. But refuse to say anything else. I'll just walk up and and I don't know how tall. What what are you? What is he? What is Mystic? Uh, uh you guys. Sorry. Yeah, actually, Mystic. Um. I walk up to you and I introduce myself as Car. I don't know where to shake your hand. All right. So now you guys can all introduce yourselves. Give a little brief description of yourselves as well. Well, I'll walk up to him and say, <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. And I still have this half shot left, if you want. <laughs> so, I mean, good tidings and all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Carr. That's all. Is Fredster going to say anything? <laughs> no, Fredster's mic's not working. Mystic is a little shy at times. <laughs> uh, Mystic, okay. your mic is muted uh, is that, or that, or severely I'm quiet. Take the shot myself, I guess. Okay. Unless unless I can hear him or her. Mystic is a female, right? Yeah. You hear me now? Yep. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. So now everyone can do their introductions and and descriptions of what you're seeing when you're. Seeing one another. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I'll just say I'm a three foot halfling with a beer belly, and I'm a drunk monk uh, with two like red streaks in my big old long golden blonde hair, and I'm tan. So I'm like a surfer monk that uh, that drinks too much, starts fires. I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, Marjorie Frostbeard the first. I am a female dwarf. I am red hair, green eyed. I am a stocky bitch, and I'm proud of it. I'm also a paladin, though. So, um, I am a paladin, so I am wearing paladin gear. Um, I'm kind of curious as to who you are because we seem to have some of our people that know you, which is good. But then, you know, you never know who's going to come into our group. Um, so yeah, so I just I grab your hand and shake it vigorously, and that's it. I walk. I step back. There you go. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, I'm seven feet tall, and I am a half fairy, half dragonborn, and I spit acid fire, which is why I can't talk. <laughs> it's a little bit too much acid. Yeah, I forgot to take my Prilosec beforehand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, I should try that. Do you have any in your house? I should have got that in the general store on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just called it a prison pouch, too. <laughs> nice. All right, so then, Mystic, you have to now introduce yourself and uh, describe yourself as well. everyone. I'm Mystic, my wizard, and uh, Jones and Cree between us um, did a bank heist together. Okay, I know the other two. Wait, 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 uh, wait. What? Excuse me, uh, uh, you, you got this, wait, you got these what? two to do a bank heist? A what? No, an no, no, stop the orphanage from Burton. Burning heist. Speak. Orphanage. Yeah, you really don't want to tell Marjorie that you guys did a bank heist <laughs> exactly. because she is like totally lost in wood. Orphanage. Stop an orphanage from burning. <laughs> I guess the mystic would have figured that out once they saw the paladin that they wouldn't say that we robbed a bank together, that we did do the orphanage thing. Yes, yes, I mean, yes. Mi mystic might say it, but. Yeah, yeah, who knows? You know, I don't know. Because that's going to be a lot of untrustworthiness oh, right there. Cool to see how successful my cover was. <laughs> 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 and my guess is it was at a disadvantage. Yes. Uh, so, so it's 11. <laughs> wait, wait. So you guys can't quite figure <laughs> out who's telling <laughs> what story <laughs> true or not. But two out of three said orphanage. 
of the game, I'm gonna act like I didn't quite hear it because Bonesy was like, I really don't know that y'all. He just like knocked his chain. No, no, it was Roar Ninja because I'm friends with Bonesy and I'm friends with Creed. Sort of, I guess we're all friends. Oh yeah, and I'll say okay. Right. I'm just gonna go. All right. You know what? To the past is to the past. I don't know anything. I can't bring them to justice. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I think. Yes. For the sake of the game. All right. So now you guys are all here, camped out for the night. Margin. You have two carriages, one covered, <laughs> one not. Nothing we can do about it. It's in the and past. four horses. Two are normal, regular, everyday stallions, and the other two are Clydesdales. So between all of you, you have, yeah, quite a bit of things. So, so are we going to ask uh, Mystic yeah. to join us then, since uh, Bonesy and Creed know this person? Are we going to ask them to join us to help them? Because we're going to have to get the wagon turned around, and if so. <coughs> what does Mystic look like if I, if I do my ask my I'm going to be hitting on you. It depends on how this first interaction goes. She's a... Oh, oh you're cutting out. She, she's a 35 year old female human. Oh. <laughs> that reaction, human. She's <laughs> in the traffic what, regularly. What, what colors are here? Oh my gosh, seriously. Don't say red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I honestly just noticed today that Margaret's hair was red, so now I'm yeah, that was... dwarf like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I'll just bat them away. <laughs> I just want anyway, to so I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm gonna offer. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna she seems a little closed, um, shut mouth. So I'm just gonna offer the little hard grain alcohol to her if she wants to relax. He's trying to loosen her up. As, as a gift. As a gift. So it's all I've ever needed. You know, new friends. It's a perv car. <laughs> all right. So right it's Maybe starting nice. to get a lot darker. Uh, I'd say it's near 11 o'clock at night now. Um, you guys. Who's going to be the first, first to watch? Yeah. I'll do first watch. Anyone else going to stand with Marjorie for watch? I'll, I'll, I'll take first watch with Marjorie. I'd like to, to have some words with her. We haven't got to the, the bottom of this honor stuff yet. Mm. All right. Yeah. So you guys uh, do that. And uh... as I muscle up. <laughs> How you doing there? And... Oh, yeah. I said something bad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, uh, it seems like you might have been a soldier one, one of these days uh, in the past, huh? Not a soldier. Um, you you just... have that, 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 uh, that demeanor. I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. I'm just going to be that way, right? Like, it's, yeah, it's... I've met, dwarfs I've met are some... all very... <laughs> oh, I've met some dwarfs that, that uh, will put a gnome to shame. Out of game for a second, I actually have no military background as a character. I just fell yeah, in I'm love just, with another paladin, but it's more because you. of it's because of her honor, because um, of of her okay. faith, and that's what it okay. is. And and because paladins tend to be a very military type of faith, as it were, because they're fighters as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why she's very much a militarized more, kind of. I'm already person. picking up on that without you saying. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so back in the game. So yeah, no, no military, just uh, just yeah. I don't know how to be a very good paladin. Um, I wasn't okay. raised with, you know, with that kind of in mind. I was a lot older when I became a paladin, unlike some acolytes where they start quite young. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I don't say much more. <laughs> I just don't know I'm what gonna, else I'm to gonna, say at this I'm point. So. take a stick and kind of poke at the fire, making some sparks go up and my eyes light up. Mm. And then uh, I wander back to the conversation and say, I, I kind of, you know, I'm just kind of drifting off talking as if she's there or if she's not but i'm still trying to talk um once in a day i i fought in a, a war or two and it, it was it wasn't for me um not so much the killing but just the needless violence mm. because you know the, if we all lived together the land was all there it's more than enough for everybody i know well, there, well, there, well, there, like my position here, here. here. <laughs> Um, no, you're, you're I, asleep. You can't hear any of this. I need yeah, you're, you're Car and Margaret to roll a survival check. 
Survival what? check. Yeah. Survival check. See, we shouldn't be talking. We're supposed to be watching, dude. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do a fucking perception check, did we? God damn it. <laughs> I did, uh, uh, hold on a second. I gotta see what I got here. Dude, I said I saw his come, come out. out. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, where's my survival? <laughs> I don't know where that is. Okay, so mine's that. It's that. But oh, I mean, plus two. Really matter, but my oh no no, I, I I think I'm okay. I got like 17 plus two. That's a 19, my, right? My total that's why I'm be, like. Uh, my total will be four with plus three, but it's a natural uh, one, so I don't think that matters. It's critical. Uh, that is a critical. Okay. So. Uh, I got you guys hear bad. big, loud banging coming Gosh. from the forest across the road from you. The earth starts shaking. Uh oh. And there's a big boulder that comes out and it smashes the ground almost right next to you. And a little stone comes out and just ping hits car right in the side of the head. And he's like, what the hell? And he's kind of like looking around, shocked, doesn't quite understand what just happened. Neither of you do. Something just rung my bell. What the? Fuck? All right, so I'm going to start, like, because I've got, I got sight in the dark. Like, I can see dark in the dark. So, I want to see things. May I see right, things? So... Okay, so there's a big beast there. We're not rolling for initiation yet because everybody's not awake or what, what's going on. Uh, do we have a do we have a, do we have a reaction before we go for initiation? Uh, do we have a reaction? you you would have a reaction. Surprise this attack. is it is a surprise attack, but right now you guys can't see anything. You can't really hear anything. Like you hear the banging, the ground is shaking, but you literally can't see anything. And that boulder just came out of nowhere. Okay, she's got dark vision. We can't really I can see, see up to sixty feet. It's right, more so like grays and stuff like that, but I can as still she, see. As she's getting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna put my back to hers, and I'm getting to patient defend. I'll spend. I will, I don't need to spend a key point, but I'll, I'll be, I'll be ready to, to attack, and uh, and just and start. Well, I'm gonna start, start yelling, screaming to wake everybody up. Get the Get <laughs> Start banging my 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 adamant shield and freaking, shield and uh, hammer shield and uh, battle axe shield boom, and battle axe. The 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 all right, so you guys are waking everyone up. Okay, uh, yeah. with all of that noise, I now need you guys all to roll for uh, a survival, but also I need your initiative. Oh, you okay? So which one do we go first? Uh, survival, survival first. first. Okay. Everybody? Twelve? Hold on, hold on. There's two carts. Is everybody sleeping in the same cart? Is this hitting both carts? So far, the carts haven't been hit. And people are sleeping in the carts. The only people that need survival rolls is me and Marjorie. Yeah, so we're both... I'm not in the cart. Uh, You're in a Serafina tent. is in a, in a tent outside, she's so she tent. definitely can hear everything that's going on right now. I'm just asking if they need to roll for survival. No, I'm a heavy secret because I rolled a six. Uh, if they're waking up and getting out of bed, they they definitely need to roll a survival oh, we check. Oh, come up. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, I haven't rolled my initiative. I've got 12 for survival, and I've got... Nine, no six. Sorry, for six, initiative. Six for my initiative, yeah. I had uh, nine for survival, All and right. uh, initiative is uh, fourteen. I rolled a one <laughs> for survival. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> fuck! Oh, no. With my bonus, that puts me at five. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh you're heart. so oh, lucky. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. <laughs> The still crit roll, so right we're gonna put this dice back in the bag. And, get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your initiative, team. Serafina? Uh, nine. And so we have Creed, Marjorie, Car, Serafina, Bonesy. What's your? So I rolled a six for survival. 
and a 19 for initiative. Oh, wow. So my initi initiative would be 20. Mm. All right, and Mystic, Survival, and... Uh, 17 for survival. Oh, Damn. Good for you. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> and your initiative? Dean for initiative. 15 or 16? Oh, 16. Okay. All right. You guys notice I didn't take any damage this last survival when I rolled a nat one, so I just got my bell rung and I still have to pick it up. Okay, and let me just. Maybe I should have sent that. The shot, bro. <laughs> Um, so okay, let me I, I just like that, put this in order. Uh, that uh, our Snorkelsaurus and um, our car and our Fredster need to come to Canada when all of our borders open up again and we get a big pool party! Yes! <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. Clothing optional, she said it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm always, honestly, I'm always clothing optional, but like, I, you know, some people are really uncomfortable with that, so I don't want to ever assume. All right, I'm bones, super uncomfortable. Monster. Ah, liar! So lying. I know you're lying. <laughs> yeah, her only fans is just her in the in the in the. It's, I'm the reading cover. books. Okay, it's just me reading just books. Like her eye, or or her reading a book with the covers on. <laughs> I don't know. I swim in my pool naked. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody's looking. So. <laughs> Karina's kid. You know, not that we're not Apparently supposed to know about that stuff, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I like my boobs. Um, them, but I like them so. <laughs> Good for you. I like mine too. All right, and oh! based on your survival checks, there we go. I got there's it. two <laughs> giant boulders that come crashing okay, down, right around the carts. They don't hit the carts, but Ooh. based on how hard they hit the ground, stones shoot out. Uh. Bonesy gets hit, Carr gets hit again, and Serafina gets hit. You all take one hit damage, unfortunately. Oh, so um, <laughs> so that would wake you up, right? Yeah. Yeah, once you get if damaged. We, if we didn't wake you up, yeah, that was just working. Smack 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 the head by a rock, rock and hopefully, hopefully wake you up. So if you open up your roll 20s. Uh, oh, shit. Roll 20. But legitimate question, why would the Muppet take damage from a little piece of a rock if he's a stuffed animal? It would just, like, bounce off and he would absorb the shock. Why would he? Well, the, see, this I'm is a shard if I cut him. him. They're are we going... Him, though, because he's never going to take damage as a Muppet. Are we playing Cameron's well, Demise or Wild Mount Adventures? Uh, we'll, Wild Mount Adventures. Wild Mount, yeah. Sorry, I just, my, uh... So obviously the, <laughs> sorry, I just have to say it, but the, the scale is off, but we're just going to use this for, yeah. oh my god, those are fucking huge. <laughs> it's not the hell is coming at us? You got trolls and shit at level three? Oh god. This is going to be my bell line. Line. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is uh, Karina's revenge for fucking us trolls. just fucking just demolishing her the past couple weeks. I'm sorry that I tied the captain to the bow of the ship. <laughs> I love how all the apologies come out when they see the monsters. Ah, no, we're actually really sorry. Hey, Karina. Yes. Can you put it on the live stream for us? Because I mine's can. not. Oh, oh, it's like just. Maybe just loading. Dun, dun. It's trying to load, but it's having a hard time. Well, last, well, last week you said the gold after us. After us. So... That is true. I did do that. <laughs> I was there for part of that fight. I was, yes, I was there for part of that fight. <laughs> I got to listen to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Perhaps before we start the actual combat, who's is got it okay to take five minutes? And that way anybody watching the live stream can go pee. And that yeah. way... Oh, I can go pee. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> killing me. Okay, fine. Turn your mic off. Take a pee <laughs> yes, break. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right, everyone can take their pee breaks. Don't people I'm... for that? I mean, <laughs> just a little intermission, if you. I... That's fine. It'll help me set up better. 
This would be a great time for me to put in a plug for your hair clip, Karina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to scratch it off. My, my soaps. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, I've got, I've got one right here. I still have my bath bomb. I'm surprised you haven't used it yet. No, I'm actually saving it till I get a hotel room and can actually take a nice big bath. Oh, because in yes. the game I'm seven feet tall, but in real life I'm six feet tall. And my bathtub is made for like a four foot nine person. Oh god, yeah. See I'm five one <laughs> and even I can't stretch out my bathtub. Alright, so I'm too wide to fit in my tub, unfortunately. <laughs> but okay. So here's our little uh let's do it. So Karina Karma, our DM, she does some lovely soaps for us. So this is a not safe for work soap. <laughs> but then we also have a little Pikachu soap and it's so cute. And then I have the Ormond and Len Orange and Lemon Zest with Ginger soap. I love that one. And also her lovely bath bombs. So there we go. And you can purchase all of these on Valhalla.com. ValhallaBeyond.com, yeah. ValhallaBeyond.com. Thank you, go. Yeah. And again, please remember that Dylan Rune makes these lovely dice baskets and may take a few weeks, but it's completely worth the time because they're beautiful and gorgeous. Oh, yeah, totally. I got mine, too. Look. Yep. See? I'm really great at these. Mine's kind of perverted <laughs> because, you know, I'm kind of perverted, so it works. Kind of. He made mine sweet, <laughs> and I like that because it's supposed to be like a crown on a queen's head, and it's Lost Queen's Mountain, and this is for 20. It looks here. like a butt. I don't think it looks like a butt. It looks like the top of my head, actually, because I do a side part because I'm old. It looks like a butt. <laughs> I don't think it does. I think it looks it's like a nice I think butt. it looks like... <laughs> Bro, okay, my, my, pl my plug is uh, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Yeah, original cassette tape wow. in 3D. <laughs> oh my god. You want to know something funny about oh, Weird Al? That was my camera. I thought my camera like broke out. <laughs> really I funny. almost, he almost sat on my lap at one of his concerts. Instead, he sang the song One More Minute with you. He had turned around, he was sitting on the woman's lap and turned around and started singing it to me. And I was so excited, even though it's about a horrible relationship between each other. But I still love Weird Al. He's just really funny. Um, okay, well, I have returned. Look, just hear me out for a second. All right, I'm with you. <laughs> I can't balance. Oh, I'm too tall. Oh, no. Three dice on the butt cheek. That's what it looks like. Three dice. I fully approve. <laughs> it doesn't look like three oh, dice on a butt cheek. It does, and I fully approve. She says this looks like three dice on a butt cheek. I think it looks like a crown oh, on a woman's now head. I see, it. I I see, see the that. butt that she's talking about. Yeah. She's talking about I the meadow. Know what she's saying, but I don't think it looks like a butt cheek. I like the idea that, that Dylan gave me, or sorry, I Sherlock gave me. It was more me. like hills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I didn't see the butt cheek until just now. Three dice on a butt cheek. Yeah, okay. You want to talk about old, old cassettes? Here, here's one. The Ghostbusters huh? 2 soundtrack with Run DMC, and it is an actual cassette. Ooh, nice. That is so cool. <laughs> I, is I like that have, stuff, too. I still have speed on VHS. Oh. oh, you should see the VHS collection I just gave to our buddy uh, Jake from uh, Shockstock. I had, like, Heathers on VHS. I had, like, some really old school stuff on I there. I just so. had the Last Boy Scout on there, too. Really good. Bad day, man. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, commercials are really over. We have shilled all of our stuff. Oh, please visit all of these uh, beautiful ladies' websites as well for some not safe for work fun if you're really looking to, or for not if safe for work get artwork. Down and dirty squared. <laughs> yeah. help you. I'm just a pervert, and I'm not on any social media other than Facebook and like uh, what am I? TikTok and Instagram. So oh, I'm yeah. boring. You're on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Yeah, I, I joined TikTok because of my niece, <laughs> an old lady. But honestly, I love some of the stuff they got. I actually have one little um, TikTok. It talks about choking and swords. <laughs> and I have a sword in my bedroom and, <laughs> you know, choking. <laughs> I mean, you know, choking. Yeah. I'm on a few of those myself. Yeah, on, no, honestly, if you see my bedroom wall, 
you'd understand why. <laughs> um, I can't show you my bedroom wall because we're on Twitch right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have to be very careful about that. I don't want to get anybody into trouble, I suppose. So, yeah. I don't want to get Karina banned or anything like that because I love her. So, But don't worry, viewers. We still do get down and dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've yeah, we do. <laughs> See, Karina knows how much I love her because I give her massages. I'll take one. Wow. <laughs> oh, why? Who, just, who just who just who just rowed? Who just row? Who perverted? <laughs> it was my heart. <laughs> was it your vagina? Is that what you were pointing to, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I realized that my mic was muted, and I'm like just pointing at Car, and I'm like, wait a second, this, yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to our game. Let's stop being Oh, perverse. my lord. Okay. <laughs> well, can't can be perverse in the game, all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, That's fair. So, coming out of the bushes across the street from you guys, as you're hearing big, loud bangs, you're noticing that there's two giants coming out of the woods. They look to be hill giants. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> uh, and Bonesy rolled highest, so... Bonesy, here go. Uh, which one is uh, is me? And uh, my... Uh... Which of these little dudes is me? Hold yeah, on. they're not clickable. That's crazy. Oh, we can't click on them anyway. Do we have to write Wait, them? how do I... How do you guys... How does that... What? <laughs> I forgot. That was a lot of questions in like 30 seconds, I'm just saying. Mm. That one's <laughs> This one's select Bonesy. Game, this one's you, Bonesy. Okay. Right, this one's um, me, right? Yeah, that one's you. That's me. How do I pick them up? I don't know. How do I make it so you guys can pick them up? I thought it was right click, but. No, we, we did it ourselves last time. Oh, I can control it. Controlled by. Uh, I see. Oh, yeah. I think you have to like name us. Or okay, there you go. So that one. Oh shit! Okay, well, controlled that's by this one's going Oh, that's Save. cool. Uh, yeah, I like, like the arrow that. A lot better. It's better than just moving freehand. Move. Okay. Now I know which one I am. Uh, Lovely. Uh, oh, you're not in here. Okay. okay, Creed, I'll just move you. Um, mm. this one here, Seraphina. So Snorkel Sora. Save. Um, so for my turn, I am going to need to gear myself up because I have just woke up and I see a giant, uh, giants in the distance and so I am going to grab my harpoon and spend my turn literally just making sure I have a weapon in my hand. Oh. Right now I am not on them because I was sleeping. We're going to need more than harpoon. <laughs> Alright, so you're arming yourself. Um... <laughs> Harpoon's not going to save us this time, buddy. Yeah, Harpoon will save us everything. In, in Harpoon, we trust. Watch him throw it, throw it into a tree, get a natural 20, and trip them both. And like... All right, let's There's just a good this. chance. All happen. right. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Is this where I don't like this face. Uh, you guys can move yourselves. I'm going to move Creed kind of further well, back. We can't, I'm I mean, we Creed. can't really move ourselves. This, this, I mean, I guess we can. Can't we? I don't know. Us. Well, I'd they say you guys, you guys can pick like your starting points. I'll say. So I kind of put yourselves where you want to be at this point. Oh, it won't. It won't let me actually move. It'll just show me the arrow that I. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, I'm just. Yeah, Never mind. I'm still Never right mind. I was on the wrong thing. No, mine's not doing it. It should. You guys all have can. Well, I've given control over. Yeah, I can move around. All right. So who's who's. Uh, this is Creed. Okay, Creed's in the blue. This is Bonesy. Bonesy. Uh, Serafina and uh, Mystic are both Serafina. here. Yeah, okay. And this is Margaret here. Huh? Oh, Mystic. What? Where's my, my, my man? You're here. Mystic's in here? Yeah. Serafina? Yeah. Okay. 
I just can't see it very well. It but doesn't you get matter. a lot of a lot of casters, and it's just me and you, Margaret, that can take. Yeah, I can heal. Anything. That's about it. Why can't I get? That's you got a great hammer, don't you? I've got a, a war, hammer. war hammer and um and a battle axe. Yeah, you're gonna be doing more damage than me right now. All the ranger Seraphine is gonna be killing. I have a great axe. Yeah, use your. Bro I have a great axe. These guys, they're huge. Don't try and hit it harder. Than I just mine's not working on my phone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having not issues like with fight. it. That's fine. Car is car is not liking this. <laughs> All right, so Bonesy set up his weapons. Uh, the first That's troll my... threw a stone and it missed everyone. So I'm not using that dice anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now it's Creed's Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Okay. Wait. These, these hill giants are throwing stones? Um, yeah. Um, I rolled, I rolled an 18. 18. I don't remember if I have to add, add, add anything to it. Thunderbolt is 18. Thunder wave. Thunder wave. Oh, Thunder Wave. Okay. Thunder Wave, that hits. 18 hits. And which giant are you attacking? Uh, whatever one's uh, closest, closest to me. Uh, uh, you're here, well, so that'll be this range. one. Because it's whatever. Cause it's whatever. Because it just, it just pushes out the 15 foot wave. Okay, so you might be a bit far. How far is that oh, spell go? Oh, that's too far. Well, that's 15 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. Um, okay, yeah, that'll right, probably hit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it says each creature in a 15 foot cube. All right, and what's the damage on that? Right, in a 15 foot cube? Yeah, yeah, apparently. Okay, so you can put the cube right here on the corner of this guy, and it will hit this guy over here. If it's a cube. Because it, it sweeps up me. me. So you oh, might want to be away okay. from your party. You might want to be, so like, gonna... moved kind of. Uh, so... No, actually, 15 foot oh, that, cubes, that if, it's, if, you, if you're facing if I, directly if I... towards them, yeah, away from us. I'm ahead of anybody, so if I push it, yeah, she'll be fine. And it should hit both. Put it, put it ahead, ahead of me. Of, I don't know if it goes, it goes ahead of me or around me. me. Can she place it? She says, or says if you put the cube, cube it originating comes out of you. If she just comes out of her. Yeah, I guess if you move five feet Does that way, come out, like, 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 15 would hit both. This will be the back side of the cube goes that way. That way or the cube will go like this way. It'll go like this way. So if I'm ahead of everybody, everybody's behind you. Yeah, everyone should be safe as long as everyone's behind you. Okay, now I have a question. Yes? Because of how my character sheet was changed, I don't know the damage on my breath weapon. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. Right. It's, it's right. under my spells. I thought it was like 2d10. I thought it, it was 2d10. It was 2d8, but I don't remember any bonus or anything. Well, I know it's 5 foot by 30 feet. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. And that's for your spells? Yeah. Oh. Um, I think it's actually under her It's actions. under features and traits. Um, but then yeah. it says that I cast it as a spell. And which one is it? All the way down. Literally the last thing on my features and traits. I need to start running... My other laptop is for roll 20, because, man, I can barely see any of this. I'm so blind. Acid breath. It got taken off of her action, so it used to be used as an action. One that's per mm -hmm. short rest, you can cast the breath weapon spell. I will look it up real quick. Uh, it's like 5 feet by 60 or something like that. But no, it was 5 by 30, but oh, I don't remember 30. the damage. Yeah, I don't either. Where? Which one am I? I'm going to cast my Thunder Wave as, as second, second level, level, so I can do 3, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8. Okay, roll for damage while I'm looking this up. Then. Oh shit, look at the fucking wizard coming out hard. <laughs> um, what I'm guessing type I'm of, the one that looks like a dwarf. <laughs> what type of draconic ancestry do you have? Black, blue, brass, black. bronze, black? Okay, so it's 5 by 30 feet. They need to roll a deck save. And it is 
two D six. D six. Yeah. Any bonus? Um. Does she need to do the deck save to? Uh, you can. You add your Constitution modifier as a bonus. Sixteen. Yep. I rolled a seven, seven and eight and a one. Nice. Damn. Call me. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh. So that'll end. Do you want to do anything else? Do you want to do any actions? Move back or. Um. Yeah, I might yeah, move. Might move. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll move Maybe back, I'll move back to the other. other... Who's directly behind, behind me? I thought... I thought... Uh, it looks like Mystic and Seraphina. Yeah, I yeah, back, I back up, up closer, closer to them. To them. Okay. Uh, Muppet. Where'd Mystic go? Muppet's right there. Where? Mystic Do that again? here. Mystic okay. and, and, and Seraphina must be, like, snuggling or something. <laughs> <laughs> Is that me space? as a dwarf? I'm, I'm, like, the male dwarf, right? On there? I'm, I'm the, the green. Um, where the hell is Marjorie? Marjorie, is that you? I think that might be me because you and I were standing close to each other when this all happened, well, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm over here now. Oh, okay, That's well, I don't... I can't move my dude. I don't know how to Who is that? That's right Marjorie. That is you, I think. No, I'm over here. Okay, I that's might have you. to put this roll twenty on my. Okay, I'm gonna go back where I was. And Mystic disconnected, so I'm going to move on to Car. I'm gonna say that Mystic is just holding a reaction. Okay. Okay, we, we don't know what Mystic does. We don't have it. Ah. I'm, in. Right. I'm gonna have to use my. Uh... What? No, no, what the hell? I'm going to use my on? element of distraction and say that this moment is brought to you by Riot Style, where you can get Alf riding a t shirt, <laughs> riding a skateboard, pulling a cat thing <laughs> on your initial day. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Alright, for me, Shiza. I feel like I'm going to say to Marjorie that I feel like we have a lot of support, magical support. Uh, but I'm just trying giant, to figure. So. Is is this me? Yeah, that's me. There okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There okay. Um. So. I'm gonna run up and hit the guy that already got hit. Who? Which one got hit? This one? This guy. The gray one. That would be fifteen. This okay. would be ten feet. Shit. It's a I'm little like off last scale. I'm for initiative too, aren't I? Did you say one of them already went? They threw a stone. Yeah. The gray one. Okay. Is it. Oh, shit. Is it an action actually yelling at them? Would that have to be an action? Can I just talk to them? Do they speak common? Oh, uh, <laughs> I would say you could. Because they don't, they don't seem like they're trying to hurt us, guys. Mm. They threw stones at us. They did you one hit point of damage. You can talk to them. See what happens. Wanna, oh, no. Oh, no. I want to I wanna, I wanna put my arms up like this and. and and the like sun way would have knocked him back a little bit. bit. Yeah. Just kind of make, kind of make him stop. Oh, I want to say, hey, hey, the Thunder Way, you know, sorry for attack. We no mean harm. And I and I, and I I kind of act like I'm going to put down my quarter staff. The one giant looks to the other and he's like, ooh! And they're like, ooh! And they're just like talking... To themselves, uh, and they just have no right idea right what's happening, and they're like, "It's okay, it's okay. They're not, they're not attacking us. They're talking." So they're just like they're talking amongst themselves, confused. What How like does their demeanor seem? They're just confused. Really confused. Why this little thing is like talking to them in gibberish? Okay, I'm gonna get down. On, I'm gonna get down on one knee. Oh God. And, and, Are you gonna propose? No, <laughs> He's I'm gonna, gonna just I'm look gonna, up and give him a little. No, no, I'm gonna kind of put my head down and and kind of bow to them and then stand back up. And... 
that's it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, that's not my whole like turn. Comprehend comprehend languages. Languages. Right. I know, but when Mystic comes out, no, I'm sorry. When Creed comes up, she can comprehend, but... Yeah. yeah. Right, like, so as you put your head down, the one giant just kind of, like, slaps, but, like, it he's so slow, it's almost like he was gonna, like, just pat your head, but as he goes to pat your head, he kind of knocks you into the ground and squishes you. Um, what's... So, uh... What's your uh what's your AC? My AC is sixteen. Okay, so you're gonna take uh uh oh six damage. Okay. Oh ow, Alright, do ow, I still ow. have my actions and my movement? Yes. <laughs> did anybody did anybody besides the PM write down the initiation count? Initiative? initiative count uh after you it's giant seraphina margarine i was trying, I was trying to but then i forgot the order <laughs> there's creed where's creed in this count so it's bones giant creed mystic car giant seraphina margarine oh, like last i like very last <laughs> <so>. <laughs> okay i guess what i'm uh shit um yeah, I'm going to back up and and say to my my friends, hey, I, I don't think these guys are here to fight. They don't seem angry. They're they they can just try to pat me on the head. You didn't mean to do any damage, but you know, I mean, I'm not angry at these guys. There's two of them. They're gigantic. I think one attack, we can get away with it without them getting angry. And I back up like five or ten feet. All right. Get myself into just a ready position to attack if they come at me. Okay. Uh, Seraphina. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Giant's turn. Uh huh. Wait, uh -huh. I don't want that dice. I don't trust that one. Ah, no, no, use that dice! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine! So this one freaking destroyed me, anyways. Alright, so <laughs> the second troll kind of looks around and still doesn't quite understand and just swings his giant tree trunk that he has around trying to like keep you guys away but doesn't actually oh. hit anyone okay so they're trying to keep us away oh i wonder if they're parents if they have babies that they're trying to protect we have yeah. to we, we literally have to just relax and talk to mr talk to let creed talk to him let forget to understand mm. that's a real, that's a real strength at <laughs> uh, seraphina um i i don't want to do anything just, just hold your attack. <laughs> you just right, yes. Yeah, yeah they just... Don't <laughs> they don't seem to mind that we're all... Freaking, like, she wants to let her take it. <laughs> I'm too busy picking leaves off of the bush to try and make some tea. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> this is why I love this crew. I just... <laughs> Oh my <laughs> lord. All right, Margarine. Okay. <laughs> seven foot the most, the seven foot tall bitch the just passive, skipping along. The most passive out of us is the only one that did some major damage and they didn't even come back at us. <laughs> and now we have to wait for her to go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. My, my face hurts true. already. Oh, oh okay. god. You were no. expecting she was expecting us to go all in and just just just, just destroy ourselves on these things. Again, thwarting it's my true. plans as usual. Well, you yes. know what? I was listening to Carr and knowing that uh, Creed can talk in different languages because obviously this has happened before. I'm going to back off. I'm going to keep my weapons kind of down low, but enough that I can bring them up again to protect myself. But I am going to step back at least, like, as far away from as I can. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. We're all backing up away from them. I mean, they're not attacking. You know, they had their chance. Yeah. They were right at the beginning of, uh, of the roll. And, I mean... They, they straight up ambushed us while we were sleeping. Yes, they're attacking us. <laughs> 
But did you die? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Bonesy, you're up. Watch the hangover three. All right, oh, no. roll for attack. Oh, Bonesy, no. <laughs> you did 17 damage earlier. They didn't Guys, all back up. You didn't tell Bonesy the plan. He's I did. Done. He I said let's. He was screaming. He's like, stop, stop, and he's like, let Creed talk to him. I said let's so, wait and relax because they're not attacking us. But right. he found a butterfly and got distracted. That's fine. And, and oh, so my I'm, face hurts so bad right now. I'm gonna throw at the uh, at the uh, at this guy right here. Damn it! I tried. I tried, Margaret. I know. I can still do the language thing, but they're probably, probably still, still chattering, chattering to each other. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna take this out from behind my ear and just, like, say, just shake my head if you throw that <laughs> Sorry, my <laughs> ice cream dealer was uh, asking me what kind of ice cream I wanted. <laughs> this is all happening in, like, less than 30 seconds. Bonesy just got out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know what's going on. Bonesy's like a uh, Grover right now. He's like, what? what? <laughs> thing to him, literally in life, the closest thing to him is this fucking harpoon. He just grabs it and just turns. Yeah. <laughs> so he's basically Grover who just woke up. What the hell? With all the chickens, he's more like Gonzo right now. Right? He kills the chickens, beats him. You gotta understand here. He just woke up. He's, you guys are yelling. People are yelling. There's broken shards of rock, there's uh, yeah. Perry Feather is probably panicking. But did you oh not notice got, that we weren't attacking? Like, oh. we're just kind of standing there. I just woke up, I don't know what's happening. I just know I'm supposed to protect <laughs> Perry Feather. He, he, didn't, and he, didn't watch, he didn't watch me walk up and talk to him and get smashed in the ground. Like, Alright, yeah, what's, so what's your attack uh, roll there, Bonesy? Kurt yeah. just got smacked into the ground and had to roll back. Yeah, let's see if you can hit him with your harp, your big harpoon, buddy. I I rolled a nine. Oh, that definitely misses. So you <laughs> throw your harpoon and just kind of lands at his feet, and he's like, Ooh! <laughs> 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 Guys, and uh, an eleven, <laughs> Bonesy, what's your AC? My AC is. Oh, it's just above that. Right? 13. Oh. Yeah. So he hits the ground in front of you with his club right next to your harpoon. These dice are failing me again. Uh, Creed. Do you, if you, do you have a bonus action, Bozy? Not that I'm using. Are they still, still on the rope? You still have the rope? Or, or, or can I kind of basically... basically cause she would have, cause she would have cast it when they were talking. talking. So is there so any way to kind of... Because everything happens in like a 30 second span? Right, so they are still conversing. They are really confused. They don't necessarily seem super aggressive, but based on their size and their grunts, they look and sound aggressive. Okay. Can, can I do, I do the, the comprehend language to see exactly what they're saying? Yeah. Come on, recently. <laughs> you have no idea what they're saying. They're speaking in their own jibber jabber. Uh, yeah, because that was a cantrip. Wait, no, it wasn't. No, it, wasn't. it was a spell. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, anything else we can do? They're not. They're not being <laughs> still, not still not quite awake. awake. <laughs> uh, Mystic. Are you there, Mystic? <laughs> you seem frozen again, Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can hear you. We can hear you. <laughs> Something at least. Oh, you, know, dear. you held your action from last turn, so go ahead. And, I mean, he doesn't. <laughs> He's been here, but he doesn't know. They haven't really attacked us. They threw a couple of stones at us, did a couple of damage. They smacked the ground in front of us. They're not. They don't seem to want to attack us. Let's just see. But do what you want. We're just acting up like, like petulant children, then. Yeah. They might be. They might be. Because we we don't know they're fucking ten feet tall, children. Yeah, they're pretty huge. 
<laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I couldn't. Everything I had not to be like, yeah, they are. I couldn't. I couldn't. I Somebody I had to. I knew exactly who it was going to be. So was I'm, I'm a pervert through and through. There's nothing I can do. About it. This is why I we're D&D squared. We are totally down and dirty. D&D squared. Uh, That's the one in game. DM like in game. And it's like. Religious, like, paladin. <laughs> like, I believe in God, too, in real life. So that's why I'm such a bad pervert. I feel bad. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Catholic whip, whip, whip. No, no, no Catholic. Yeah. Uh, the whip only comes out when you have that. All right. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I would say I have all those in my bedroom, so don't worry. <laughs> Mystic, like, before we lose you again. <laughs> Literally, so, I Mystic, are you going stuff. to attack, or are you going to hold your action? Um, can you hear me? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know quite what to do if they're not attacking us. Um, hear the languages I speak. Help me at all, I don't know. Uh, they speak giant. They don't. They don't seem to respond to common. I tried talking to them with actual, just like body language, and they stamped me into the ground on accident. And I bombed, and I bombed my, my comprehend language. language. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> I got that. That's that fucking, fucking scary. scary. <laughs> <laughs> it was louder than it's 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 And my hands are both busy, so I couldn't like mute my mic. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are mystics languages? Common, dwarvish, gnomish, halfling. Nope, you do not speak giant. Frozen again. Frozen again. Scooby dooby doo. There's the crickets. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mystic, it's your turn. Can you hear us? He's got Can really you bad internet. My words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> That sounded like really sexual. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm hand, just. The hand gestures. It's like. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I'm really not this bad normally. Like, I just. It's the spring air. It really is for me. And the summer's coming and I'm excited. You know. Because first we had the scepter. And now we now have, we do, have you do you understand, understand me? me? <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> ah! Yeah, the scepter. Do you understand? <laughs> We're talking about the scepter. Understand? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On a lighter note, Creed, okay. I like your talks. Mystic said something about they're not attacking something. Right, his mic is right. muted right now, so I'm... Can he... Oh, wait, he might have typed. Wait, let's see. No, I know, no. I was just about to check. Mm. Never mind, they were earlier. Shadow, you have nice socks. <laughs> oh! Oh! I have about two packs of those. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Fred, sir, if you want, you can like type in the chat and then I can just check it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I got it up right here, so. Can you hear me now? We can yes. Yeah. While, you're, while you're muted. Yeah, it says it's muted, but we can hear you. Why not? Oh. There's sounds. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I think, I think it's a delay. Mm. Okay. 
We need to all chip in so we can get better internet. <laughs> we have to make sure it's legitimate internet first. Yeah. Yes, let's not all chip in on something that uh, is non-existent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But did you die? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Q, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> yes. And that's a plug for something. All right. We'll <laughs> say that Mystic's going to hold the attack just to move this along. I'm sorry, Mystic. Right. No, no, you're good. You're good. Let's keep going. Um, like car. Except for oh, me. Um, I, 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 I tried communicating with him. Again? Again? No, I already did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I was like, again? I'm pretty sure that didn't go well last time, but right. He tapped me on the head for six points of fucking damage. I'm not going near this guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll just sit where I'm at. I'm good. Hold my action. You can tap me on the head for six points of damage. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's a heavy pad. I already got smacked by three, three rings for that one. That's <laughs> true. Betting. Yeah. All right. Um. So the other giant. So not the gray one, but the other dude. He is swinging. No. Uh. He's gonna throw a rock at you guys. Um. Right. Who's closest to him? Who is this? Me. No. Not Margaret. Oh, that's Margaret. <laughs> no! Oh, not Margaret! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's throwing a rock at Margaret. Uh, eighteen to hit. My AC is eighteen. So, so that it means I'm gonna get hit. It just <laughs> hits. All right. Um. Son of a bitch. All right. Three D ten. Wait, three D ten. They're trying to kill us with rocks. They don't even know what they're doing. Dude, dude, dude. We're not going to communicate You're with them. You're shitting? They're... Fuck you, man. No, fuck that shit. 3D10 for a rock? Oh, yeah. It's, it's a big not rock. Club. It's a oh, big one. Oh, bloody hell. Wait, do I have anything that's going to protect me as well? Like, come on, anything. Come on, anything. <laughs> you have a shield. Oh, yeah. a little tiny shield. <laughs> I was wait, 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 wait. All right. So... All right. Wait, wait. The phone he once again was correct, and just blindly throwing weapons at him. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so you you take four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, well, shit, that could have been a lot worse. I was yeah, it could have been. I'm it could have been a lot better guy. too. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, you survived. Um, Wait, yeah, Serafina. Oh, it's my wow. turn. Oh, no. <laughs> so how tall, how tall are these guys? That was, how, that was a big rock. Like. Uh, they are giants. Uh, yeah, so how tall are giants? 10 feet, 12 feet, 15? I would say, hold on, I will look up the exact size of these giants. Just so you guys Because honestly, in faces. so many different cannons are different heights, so that's why I, oh, I just don't know what they are for D&D. Who's, uh, &D. who's turn it? Because we, we haven't done any actions to these guys in a long time, so we should be able to... They are 15 feet and 4 inches. Okay, so they're twice the size of Serafina then. Okay. My size. My size. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're I'm fake. Saying, like, is there any way, any uh, GM? Yep. Is there any possible way that, you know, because we have not used any actions on these guys the past like round and a half. We've just been, get, we just now got hit with a stone and we might attack them. Can we see how I old they are? The Can we do kind of, kind of checks like, See anything about them that we notice? Like, yeah, that's what I was wondering too. They they are, they we can't hear what they're saying, but can we notice if their their manners and their like or children or like, or if their parents? Trying yeah, to, roll an insight check. Just in case, just in case like, 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 we're, like, like what Margaret said, 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 we're somewhere near their children, and this is kind of the way birds do it. All right, so then maybe an insight check with maybe an insight check with advantage from 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 Creed. Yeah. Hey, alright. Get it. 
Give it an advantage. What? Just roll a d20. Shut up. Okay. So, you're noticing that, uh... Damn, you fucking dice. I'm gonna steal all your dice. So... Oh, these, she rolled, like, they, you give me advantage, so the nat 20 should get anything you need. These hill giants, um, the a nice roll. they don't really <laughs> seem to be parents of any <laughs> sort. They are definitely chaotic evil, and they're pretty oh. fucking stupid, but you're in their territory. Okay, okay. so it's about a territory thing. And so... since you, like, you camp there, you have a campfire, they're not best pleased about any of that in their right, area. So Let's start attacking um, them because honestly, they're <laughs> chaotic people. Just have so, to scare them, scare them off. off. This is just okay, just, wait, just wait, scare them off. Bring, wait, kick wait, their wait, ass. Just, just so you guys heard this, this is our peaceful paladin saying, "Everybody, kill him." Not peaceful, like, just a paladin, and I don't like. Mothers. But they're evil. They're chaotic evil, which means I can. You, you, you just won over a little bit more of my heart. Right there. <laughs> chaotic evil. I can kick ass, okay? All right, let's so, do it. All right. Yeah. I want to know. Hell to the fucking yes. All right, so. Uh, oh, I mentioned move. evil. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Evil, I can take on. So all right, so I'm it's Marjorie's go. On. And they're extremely stupid. So if anybody has wisdom or intelligent modifier roll that thingies. Yeah, these giants are definitely this. not we, intelligent. We sat around for like two rounds absolutely doing nothing. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly So I figure yeah. I can get away with saying a couple of things. Nothing, I, I mean, am doing uh, nothing but trying to kill them. I grab my harpoon, I swim with the harpoon. I mean, I'm, I'm hustling, trying to defend everyone here while you're trying to make peace with them. This is an exact opposite of, like, you know, when we have when we first started out. Mm-hmm. The exact opposite. You guys always throw me off, though. I was totally expecting you guys to just go ape shit, but, yeah. Well, you weren't really... You were throwing little tiny rocks. You hit me for one point of damage. You tapped me on the head for six. <laughs> I'm like, they're, they're mm -hmm. kids or something. They're, I mean, they're stupid just, dice. Stupid. <laughs> stupid dice. <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid <laughs> <giants>. <laughs> You're like, it's a D12, I'm gonna knock him with a 1. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was like, my <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you did a good job of not know letting us know they're not fucking sure. Sure, snaps. Oh, dang it. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do with what I have, so, <laughs> which isn't much, but, um, you know what? I I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna attack them with my, um, it's gonna be one handed, I guess, with my, uh, Battle axe. Yeah. Okay. So, I gotta roll for everything to see if I can hit them. Yep, roll for an attack. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I fucking rolled a one. <laughs> oh, I know. It's because it didn't land in my box. That sounded really bad. It didn't land in the dice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you guys you see Marjorie pull out her axe. And she goes to swing it one hand and she kind of loses her balance. It goes on the ground. She falls over. That's Bones. I do two-handed. That's why. That's why. Uh. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, my turn's over because there's nothing I can do now. <laughs> Fuck it Bonesy, what are you going to do? He's going to finish chewing his food. I reach on in and I pull out one of my various devices out of... <laughs> my, my fanny pack pouch. And I launch my um, a Master Wand of Charm person using a uh, using two charges to charm uh, a beast or uh, works on one beast giant or a fae. Alright. So I'm going to want to shoot uh, charm person on the the dark, uh, the one I was through my harpoon at before. So this one here. That guy right there. Yeah. And it's a... I don't know how you blew on it. 17 plus 4. Oh, so, thank you. That screwed up mine there. He is uh, definitely yeah. charmed by you. <laughs> no, nice. Uh, for my movement, I'm going to let 
the party know that the dark gray one is charmed. I'm just gonna be like, guys, watch, <laughs> and I'm gonna use my movement to run to my newly charmed uh, giant friend. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Is this dream bad idea to anybody else but me? Right. It does, to, it does to me, but it looks <laughs> amazing because like, he, he's gonna pull this fucking off. I well, guess. now that I've, so that giant is under control of Bonesy at this time. Um, if he's that, under control, control here's the here's thought. thought. He, he, trolls, trolls tend, tend to, to I'm, assuming, I'm assuming, I think, they collect, they collect it. Gold, gold jewels, jewels, usually in their, usually dens. In their dens. If we can if take, we can take the charmed one, one to lead us back to the den, we might be able might to find, find some, stuff. some stuff. Yes, good idea. That's a good one. <laughs> Stay it on your turn. <laughs> I mean, like, we just heard you, but yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh, how, long, how long does the charm last for? Mm -hmm. For like an hour? Or is it just like quick? It lasts an hour. I just looked that up. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that All skips right, let's, his let's turn. Dispose Creed. Buddy, and then be right before the charm wears off, we can dispose of him, take him out one by one, and get his den. Fuck's sakes. Okay. So, are we so gonna, gonna now take, take up the other troll? <laughs> are we still, are we still taking, taking up the other up troll? The other troll? I mean, I'm going to. Okay, so, so then I'll cast, cast uh, is there any my cantrip fireball. Firebolt. Firebolt? Alright. At the non-charmed non one. Uh, roll the uh, 15, 15 plus, plus 5. five. That is a first yeah, um, fucking yeah. hit. Look. Totally You're can't hear. You're going through a tunnel. Five, five. Five damage? Yeah, he is in a tunnel. So you notice the second giant take kind of like a weird step back and you hit him in the chest with a firebolt and he's like, ooh, and he looks over at his friend hoping that his friend would save his life and his friend's like, <laughs> over at Bonesy, all happy and in love. Uh, and now it's Mystic's go, but I think Mystic's going to have to write it down because the, uh, let's, let's the mic isn't. Let's let start doing stuff, yeah, like. You're gonna have to write it down in the chat so we can get it. Can you hear me? Kind of. Not good. Okay. Okay. Does that one taste like ass? It does taste like ass. <laughs> so here's the question. How do you know it tastes like ass? Have you been eating ass recently? <laughs> recently? No, no, no. Unfortunately, <laughs> but... To be, on to be honest, everybody who's ever, ever, ever eaten an ass knows what ass tastes like. like. If you get them clean enough, it doesn't really taste like much. It's just kind of skin like, tasting. It tastes like, like everything so. else. Yeah, like I mean... <laughs> like chicken. Yup. Can't. Stop. <laughs> After, after what's his name has been done matching. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna keep my mouth shut. I <laughs> know. Okay, so Mystic used her crossbow, eighteen to hit, which hits, and six damage. Excellent. All right. Which one? Uh, the, the non-charmed one. one. The brown one. The brown one. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. When it's time for the charms giant to make his roll, all he's gonna do is pick me up and put me on his shoulder. Oh my god. <laughs> Just so you're aware. Yeah. It's gonna be the best hour it's ever. It really <laughs> is. Considering most battles only last remember like to, you know to keep, twenty keep seconds. Time on this. <laughs> yeah. This, this GM. <laughs> So Mystic shoots her crossbow, hits him. He has an arrow now stuck out of his shoulder, and he's like, Ugh, and looks at his buddy, and his buddy's still looking at Bonesy like, Ugh, Ugh. <laughs> So absolutely not helping his friend anymore. Um, Car. All right, I, I did already kind of look at this. I can get there for 20 feet. Okay. 
and I'm going to attack that guy. Now, we haven't talked about this um, yet, but if I decided I wanted to try and use my boom, like to, to jump, like, well, I can't really jump. I can attack up and hit his kneecap with a boomstick. <laughs> All right. But it would basically be like, right before I attack, I'd have to flip it, flip it open because it's full of alcohol. And then also right. have the freaking lighter there. So I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to attack this guy. Oh, okay. We haven't used that. Yeah, I mean, because the boomstick's going to have extra die. We got to talk. Yeah. Uh, it's 20 to hit. Hit. All right, so I'm just going to just baseball swing at his kneecap. Oh, that's savage. Can you reach his kneecap? I mean, I'm three feet tall. He's 15. So I have to reach up. But, I mean, you, that's that's. Karina. <laughs> I don't really need the kneecap. I mean, it's... You could probably get him like just under the kneecap, in the shin. Shin kicks hurt. All right, no, let's go for the let's go for the ankle then. Oh, okay. Just straight in front of me with the ankle. <laughs> All right, give me your damage. <laughs> oh wait, no, I rolled a d20 for some stupid reason. All right. More damage? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. I just oh, want to nice. state I'm loving the positive attitude for our game right now. It's making me feel happy. There's no bumming out. There's no depression. I'm feeling great. So there you go. <laughs> and, and 11 points of damage to, on top of that. Oh, agreed. And holy. Oh, and then I'm gonna use a. Let's see. Has anybody, anybody but me got hit? Oh, all right. It's my first time to. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm gonna do a flurry of blows. Oh, you fuck. Okay. <laughs> all right. First attack. Ooh. My goodness. Seven. Well, so the first one, he's like. You hit his ankle really fucking hard, and he's like, Ooh, looks down at his ankle, and the second one, you, like, hit it, and he's just like, <laughs> Like, why again? <laughs> okay, so, I imagine I can heal myself, correct? Yes. So, I'm gonna grab my crotch and go, <laughs> and uh, heal points of damage. Are you shitting because me? That's... I have to touch. I have to touch. To so I'm going to reach out and touch someone every single time. He's going to reach out and touch, touch me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I heal myself for five points of damage. Okay. okay. So let me take care of that. Oh, uh... well, no, I think that's six, too, didn't I? So that would be seven. Two down, so I'm 27. All right. Yeah. And, um,. Yeah, I'm going to use my 15 feet, too, because he's, he's chilling right now. He's still confused and stupid. Shit, shit. I'm going to use my 15 feet to move the fuck away and uh, run over here. Hey, well. All right. Why? Now this, uh, yeah, that sucks, man. This giant is not <laughs> looking happy. At least he's not a storm giant. <laughs> Game of sprained ankle. <laughs> Uh, he is going to, he's going to use his great club to swing, and he's first going to oh, move. Oh, he's going to be like, uh -oh. oh, oh, really? Oh, man. Who's this? The first thing in front of him? Uh, oh, that's me. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, he's swinging his great club at you, Mardred. Um, Son of a at least it's bitch. you, Marjorie. At least it's you. Oh, screw you, bro. Three D eight. You have the highest AC out of all of us. So I, I do. I do. Like he goes after yes. Bonesy. Bonesy's, Bonesy's dead. dead. Bonesy will just bring himself back. I know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And another hand will pop out of his back and pick him up. So fucking. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Three. All right. Oh well, no, she's not allowed to change her dice mid game. That's cheating, man. That's I had to get three D eight. I didn't have any D eights out. See? She's okay. She's okay. So 
So three D eight. Ones, 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 ones. Ooh. Okay. And you take six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. But what was okay. the the? Did you do the the, the um? Yeah, it was my nineteen. Oh, it was cock 19. sucker! It was. Bullshit! How many fucking points did I just take? Uh, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, ten. Like Oh fuck, man! Ten. Points. Hers is fuck eighteen, so this was nineteen, so it it went over this time. Oh, dude, I am like hurting. I am like okay. really hurting. Shit, I should have ran. Oh, see, it's you. Sorry, I healed myself instead of healing you. You know what? Well, since can I like wait? Is it my turn yet? Uh, it's, it's Serafina's, and then this yours. So uh... Serafina's turn is up. So you get hit twice, correct? Yeah, I've gotten hit twice now. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll be on my way next time. Well, I've got I got healing and stuff like that for myself. I just, uh, find it. I swear I'm healing you. you. <laughs> I don't want uh, to. I'll rub, your, I'll rub your shoulders so your plate will feel the warmth of my healing. Uh, yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing, Serafina? I have a quick question. What happens if you save your action? If you save your action, you can have a reaction when he attacks you. So your action would be brought forward if he tried to attack you. Gotcha. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, Marja, did you attack him before he attacked you? Okay, so I attempted to attack at my last turn, and I threw a one. Oh, <laughs> so okay, I okay, landed yeah. on my face in the dirt, basically. So he okay. smashed, he smashed me while I was on the ground. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to heal. And then... Um... A second attack as a bonus action is a thing, right? Yeah. It depends on your bonus action, so I think. Two weapon uh, fighting. Two weapon. What's, what's, uh, what you doing, I mean, sir? It does Fina? say actions in combat, two weapon fighting, but it doesn't, uh... That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. If I, can, I can do that twice. Like, like if I can... a different light melee weapon that you're holding in the other hand, so yeah. Okay, yeah, so it has to be in the other hand. You can attack yeah. with one light weapon, and you can attack with another, like, two light weapons. You can't attack with, like, uh, You can't, yeah, you axe. can't do, like, a great axe. Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my great axe, and... I'm gonna go after this one's oh, left arm. Are you gonna attack twice? No, I oh, can't. Okay. That's a two arm, a two hand weapon. Okay, no, yeah, I was just. Uh, sorry. Sorry. So I'm gonna move up to him and then jump up and try and cut off his hand. <laughs> okay, <laughs> damn. <laughs> 12 and that oh, no. misses oh no oh, so you see no. Serafina run up to go take his hand and her axe just goes in slow motion almost and he moves his hand he's like Burr! and just watches her totally miss he's like Burr! Marjorie. My weapon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. So, can I move and cast a spell? Yeah, you can. You can move, okay. and then you can cast a spell. So here's this is the fun part. So I'm gonna move thirty feet back. So where's my little guy? I am moving thirty feet back, and but I am gonna cast Sanctuary on Seraphina because she is right there, and I don't want her to get attacked for trying to protect me. But now the um the 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 troll's gonna have to uh, throw a wisdom saving throw uh, on a failed save the creature must choose a new target or lose the attacker spell ah so at least i'm 30 feet away now and trying to uh, you know do what or i can if you're if you're right there you're only 10 okay well fuck all of these i'm going back there because i need to heal up it's, i'm not doing this to be scaredy cat dwarf i'm just i gotta heal myself or i'm gonna die my next throw but i have i have um put a spell on seraphina so seraphina is now you won't die, Seraphine. you're just going unconscious, and I can wake you back. But... Yeah, I just need to heal up, because I'm, like, hurting really bad. Like, I'm down to nine hit points, so... Yeah, gotcha. 
I'm embarrassed. What's the DC on the wisdom save? Uh, da, 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 da. Wisdom of nine, it looks like. Can't be that low. I don't know. Well, these guys know. are pretty stupid, so... They are pretty they stupid. Hold on, son. You ward a creature within range against attack. And, oh, oh, no, word. sorry. It would go... Sorry, it goes on the creature, not on... Um, doesn't go on Seraphina. It goes on the troll that's attacking. I apologize. Right. Um, yeah. And it's... Uh, the attack or save is wisdom nine. You ward a creature within range against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets... The warded creature with an attack of harm. What? Hold on. What? No. I really don't understand this. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to cast ward on Seraphina so that if she gets attacked, the creature has to take a wisdom, uh, wisdom, a wisdom saving out. throw on a failed save. Okay, yeah. on a failed, DC sorry. On that? It just says attack slash save wisdom 9. That's why I'm trying to say That's it doesn't really. I, I just telling you, it says source PHB page 272. I don't know. Whatever sanctuary is for first level of abjuration. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I don't know my stuff. No, that's well, fine. So. We're all learning. <laughs> yeah, you cast sanctuary. And that makes Seraphina because she harder. stood. Yeah, that makes them harder to hit. Yeah. I mean, basically, they have to do, like, Do I have to throw. customize it myself? Like You are a creature within a range attack until the spell ends. Any creature is higher. Okay. Attack, save, wisdom 9. Yeah, that's all it says. I mean, you have to beat a 9. But, I mean, they're no. trolls, right? So they're really stupid. Yeah. So... I mean, attack, save might be, like, if you have a wisdom of 9 or greater, then you save. Maybe. That's what it sounds like, but he also has only eight wisdom, so he definitely fails that. Okay. I was trying to say it was like it's a if he attacks. Yeah. Right. Only if he attacks, though. Yeah. Seraphine. Any creature who attacks, who who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell, must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. So it has to hit nine. It looks like mm -hmm. that's. It seems like that's the number they have to hit is nine. Okay. So he'll just have to but roll nine. Like, yeah. 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 We should more into that that spell. It doesn't seem. I I just uh, showing you what I know on my. Thing no, I know, saying. I know, but it's been cast in like critical role, and they tell us how it works. Hmm. If the water creature makes an attack, cast a spell. Or is it add plus nine to whoever's, like, that's what I'm trying to figure. Hmm. He has, just has to yeah, roll a, 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 a roll, he has to system. roll a saving throw, and if it fails, which it has to be nine or or higher to win, to go above yeah, it. It's just a really, it's so, a really low it's, it's, yeah, it's it. just like, it's just worded wrong. So, yeah, that's fine. You can totally cast that. Okay, He's, excellent. Thank so you. I'll just, like, I'll roll it. It's and, now on. Seraphine is now protected against the big bad troll, I hope. <laughs> he rolled a seven, so yeah, he's totally safe. Yay! So he's either got to lose his roll or he's got to attack somebody else. Yep. And then it's Bonesy's go. But he doesn't fucking know that. <laughs> he's a dumbass fucking... <laughs> now that I'm riding uh, this uh, giant uh, troll, like a... I'm, I'm kind of like legs wrapped around, holding onto his head, and I get him to, to lift up his, his glove and hit his friend. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> can I, can I steer him like a mech, like a mech? What? Is that a doable thing? Can I steer uh, the, the giant like a mech? Roll a, roll a performance check. Performance? Yeah. Look, we were just snuggling last night. I can tell you, he's fine. Plus <laughs> two. Uh, that is a nineteen plus two twenty-one. Fuck. 
uh, yeah, so I guess, uh, I <laughs> You will, ride him! You ride him! I <laughs> will make him roll for an attack. It hits, and... What are you making him attack with? He has, like, a regular attack, a great club, or a rock. With his great club, he's just gonna smash down That is club. a 3d10. <laughs> Kick his ass. Eight, nine, ten damage is taken. So as the giant that Bonesy is riding and has charmed smashes his buddy with his great club, he's like, Rrr! and now he's turned his attention to his friend, pissed off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we cannot, I mean, this ragtag group of misfits cannot be this fucking good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't even know how you guys manage. <laughs> I don't either. Luck, sheer fucking luck. That's all. part of my language. Sheer luck. Sheer luck. So I think, I think as the DM gets more knowledge, we're gonna get more and more. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, probably. Gotta, gotta I need too. better dice. <laughs> <laughs> I bought six sets of dice, and they're all failing me today. <laughs> You just need to buy some loaded dice, that's all. Yes. <laughs> Alright. 20, 20, 20, you're all screwed, you're all screwed. <laughs> so it's back to Creed. Um, I guess, I guess I'll do I'll the other cantrip for trouble. trouble. Alrighty. Oh, Mr. Nice Tiefling. Uh, uh, six, six plus, plus five. five. Uh, Eleven? That misses. Oh no. So you yeah, throw your fireball like, and it like just goes those. over his shoulder and you see it go into the bushes behind him, catching fire behind him. He's like, <laughs> like so confused. His buddy just hit him. There's fire flying at him. And it's Mystic's turn. I think uh, Bonesy needs a wireless headset, and I think uh, Snorkelsaurus needs a wireless headset, and I think Karkoth needs a wireless headset. I think everybody needs wireless headsets today. Oh, nice, you got the green set, I got the blue ones. I got um, these ones that are in my, my the ear pods, well, yeah. pod, but... Your ear holes? Just... Yeah, I like my ear holes. <laughs> Mystic is going to use a two-weapon <laughs> attack <laughs> with a crossbow and sling, <laughs> and it's a... Ear holes. It is a 20 to hit, which is a critical hit, and oh, nice. critical a 5 hit. damage. So you guys watch Mystic just kind of quietly come up and use a crossbow and a sling, and just poo poo at the fucking <laughs> giant damage? for 5 damage. Mm -hmm. As a critical? You only did 5? You must have rolled low, poor guy. Yep. Roll the 20 to hit and a 5 for damage. Oh, five for damage. I thought it was... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, now this guy's, like... It's like a nat, nat one on fucking damage on a critical. Yeah. So now this, like, this giant's just, like, looking everywhere, confused. Yeah, you know, He's, like... Up. I hit his ankle real hard, but... Yeah. Um... Tear that ankle down. Car, you're up. Yeah, I'm going after that fucking ankle. Um, now, this is you all the way over there? Um, Marjorie? Or is I, this you? The, the area now. Where am I? I don't know where I am. I, I can't see myself right here. Right? Yeah, I can't reach myself anymore. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Okay, oh. like, I wanted to be, like, 30 I'm feet max, me. right? So, that's... I don't want to be in the water. I don't no, want to be in the bush. Around. I'm just asking. I can move 35 feet, so I can get to you. That's you where I am. Heal, you said you're going to heal yourself, right? Yeah, I was going to start healing myself next turn, but I can't do it until next turn. Okay, now this ogre, I think, goes right after me. Am I correct? Uh, the one that isn't charmed is after you, Kari, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that attacked my ass. Alright, so I'll, I mean, I'll, 
I'll take the brute force this shit, I guess. Um, who is that? Serafina, do you have any damage that you heal? No. Anybody else? Bonesy? I think it's just Mardred um, at this point. Mr. Yeah, okay. I've gotten all the damage done to me to save all your butts, all right. okay? So I, just need, I only need to move five feet, I mean, just to get next to him. Right? That's Is that within range? Five feet? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I clicked down there. Um, yeah. Alright, so I've only used one. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is take a swing. All right. That same ankle. That same ankle. I want to break that thing in half. All right. 22 to hit. That hits. Oh, it hits. Okay. No, I just want to say real damage. I'm just... It's been in there for freaking two weeks. Oh, that's a bad one. It's kind of... It's barely cocked, but I'm just... I'll leave it. Um, five mm -hmm. points of damage. All right, so you smash him in the ankle, and he looks back down again. He's like, ooh, brr, holding his ankle now, kind of like, what the hell? My friends betrayed me. I'm getting attacked by these people. What the fuck? Yeah, his buddy's about to kill him, too, the next time. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a flurry of blows on that ankle as well. All right, let's roll for it. First attack's a natural one. That's uh, a total fail. Yeah. Second is a 14. That hits. Alright, so AC is 14 or 13. Thinking to myself in my own head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five points of damage. Just a, uh elbow right to the bone of the giant bone of the uh the ankle trying to hit a nerve or something all right he's definitely not happy about any of this but all of a sudden you guys <laughs> notice and uh, oh sorry i'm not i'm not done I'm oh move. yeah okay keep going and uh, i'm gonna run over here and yell at the bonesy you got this man keep doing what you're doing <laughs> Maybe you'll find the giant soul after this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's a giant. I mean, I'd like to know the anatomy. All right, let's go. <laughs> Looking all right. What? All right, you guys noticing in all of this craziness, Dr. Perry Feather comes out and he's like, oh, 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 thank oh. God. Everyone, everyone, it's... you're hurt. You're hurt. I knew this was a bad idea. And he looks over at Mardred and he's like, hold on, hold on, wait, there's, don't, I have something for this? I have something for this. <laughs> and. Okay, I'll take it, because, man, I'm hurting, I'm pretty hurting bad, so. <laughs> he rolls for, oh, sorry. He, like, he casts a spell, and he's like, I'll kill you, I'll kill you, and you gain back 11 hit points. Take it. I'll take anything at this point, so I appreciate that. Sorry, couldn't do much. I'm just trying to save all my medicines for when we get to Nicodronas, but that's fine. But this is the best I can do, and he runs back into the carriage, just not having any of it. He's like, this is too scary. That is okay. He did my job. And the and not. Uh... To touch than creep her out. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do lay hands on myself as well because now the fight's over. I'm guessing. I kind not of quite yet. My... Uh, um, uh, it's okay, actually right. it's the injured giant's turn. Oh no! I'm so far away though, so he can, he can suck my ass. Who's? Oh, that's Serafina, isn't it? Ah, uh, but she's protected by my ward. So. Oh right. Yeah, Serafina, but she, the, 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 the giant don't know that. Nope, yeah. so it's a fail <laughs> roll anyways. So the giant goes to swing his great club at Serafina, just kind of like, dong! He's like, Wait, does the Or is it just one turn? Do we know? Uh, hold on, I'll check it out. Uh, it it lasts a minute, so we'll say that it's still there. Okay, so that's a couple of rounds, yeah. Yeah. So he goes to hit, and it just kind of like doesn't hit her, and he's like, whoop! 
And nothing happens at this point. Uh, Serafina, it's your go. Was this giant on a, a stand-in on Home Improvement? I think so. <laughs> so I, I didn't, I didn't, my delivery wasn't great. Tim Allen is the giant. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> Reruns every Thursday and Saturday. I think I know what the Just by the grunt, I'm going to assume he's obsessed with cocaine. Oh. <laughs> I think Car might have some of that. And, and well, my comprehend comprehend language, language lasts an hour. An hour. So I can still, I can understand, still understand everything you're saying. Oh, right. Yeah, so at this point you're like, my fucking ankle, and he's like, and my friend doesn't even love me anymore, and these little people are fucked, and fuck these little people. Oh, do not make us feel bad for these pieces of shit. <laughs> but, his, but his best friend doesn't love him anymore. He's charmed. He's got a charm, he's gonna fucking hate us, and hate himself, and really hate Bonesy. That is true. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just get back in the Okay. Okay. So, Serafina, what are you going to do? Same as before. Try and cut off his arm. All right. Roll for attack and damage. 16. That hits. What? Well, I see. 11. Damn. All right. So. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Not yet. Not yeah, they're big. That's why so have one of them you go to cut his hand off and it doesn't unattach entirely. So you can see it's the like bones that. and there's blood coming out of his arm and his hand is but now he dangling. Swing the club with that hand. He definitely yeah. can't swing it with that hand. No. So now he's like, he drops the club to the ground. He's like, and he's pissed now. Super pissed. Now, can I, can I pick his club up? It is. Seven feet tall. The club is probably about 10 feet tall and about like 100 pounds or so. Okay, but can I drag it? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Give me give me a strength check here. <laughs> it's a big it's a tree trunk. It's basically a tree, uh. Yeah. Nineteen. Oh fuck it. it. Fuck it all. So you guys watch Serafina, she's like she cuts his hand almost all the way off, and he's like looking down as the seven foot dragonborn is just like Beep. <laughs> like slowly dragging it away from him. <laughs> and I've gone oh back to the water. I'm oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Marjorie. The tree truck. Oh, you should have pushed the tree truck into the water. Okay, again, this is not dirty but water. Has anybody actually checked out uh Serafina's uh Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, sorry, I got a lady boner right now. Okay, that was just a... Sorry, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Horny. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Welcome so to sorry. Down and Dirty D&D, everyone. Oh, this is D&D right. D squared. These are our intermissions. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. I have to focus. Okay, so I'm fairly healed back up, so I am going to go back towards them and... Okay, is he hurting the troll guy? Is he hurting pretty good now? The one that's, oh, like, been beat up? He's missing a... Well, he's not missing a hand, but his hand's dangling by a little bit of skin off of his arm. He's bleeding profusely from it. He's got a broken ankle. He's looking pretty rough. Oh, there's an arrow sticking out of his shoulder from Mystic. Right, you know what? I'm going to go try to take out... Like, I'm going to take my, um, my great axe, and I'm going to try to take out his leg so that he'll fall down. So I'm going to attack him. <laughs> So I'm going to go, where are you, there we go, oh, broken ankle, okay, fine, right, I'm going to chop out his broken ankle, I'm going to chop out his broken ankle with my big great sword, double handed this time, I've just dropped my shield, I'm pissed now. Alright. Oh, come on, please, please, please. 
Oh, oh my shit. god, I got a 20! <laughs> look at this! Look at this! It's a 20! It's a 20! <laughs> Damn, this fool's gonna have one hand and one foot. Yeah, plus my, no um... Weapon. Hold on, I gotta get back. I, I gotta stop staring at, uh... At, uh He's gonna burn Mark in the middle of his chest. chest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 20 plus... Yeah. What do I do for the attack? Um, so your damage is whatever your weapon is, and the bonus if there's a bonus. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta find my great axe. Um, oh, it's a D. It's two D ten. All right. Or two D eight. Two D. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. 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 I can't remember. Oh no. There's a. If it's two handed, it's a one D ten plus three. So one D ten. One D ten. D ten plus three. Eight plus three is eleven. All right. He is. You go to swing your two-handed axe at him. His ankle is now exposed. It's not entirely cut off, but it's definitely exposed. And he has his... He's dropped to one knee. Just okay. kind of because he can't stand on that foot so anymore. So now he's about... He's about, what, eight feet tall now? Because he's down on the knee, right? So he's on the ground. He's not I would say, feet, yeah. Feet, he's about, like... He's, he's, like, eight and a half, nine feet high. Gotta get point. him further so we can take his head off. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, but but Seraphina is seven foot, yeah. So that's why I'm saying I'm trying to get him down so that, yeah. Right. I I want this thing dead. I I'm just it's evil. It's chaotic. It's yeah. Okay, I'll ignore all of you guys for a while now. <laughs> all right. We, we, we also <laughs> Bonesy. Sure we use that charm spell quickly. I'm sure Bonesy's got some kind of plan for this fucker. Oh, I'm sure he does too. And it's Bonesy's <laughs> turn right now too. We gotta, we gotta find, oh, we gotta Look at this evil him. smile. Hey, Bonesy, we can find. Can I, can I say something to him? Hey, I'm sure your turn. Meow. My turn. Come on. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna gonna get the uh, the giant to once again bring his club down on his friend's skull. Oh, boy. All right. Um, with, but while he's doing that, I would also like to uh, uh, lash out a, a chill touch as well. So it's... A, is that doable? Can I, can I steer this man well? I would say so. I say his, because you're... Wait. You're... So you're going <laughs> to cast a spell while steering him. Yeah, yeah, go for it. And I'm gonna roll for damage for you're I making him. The... Are you making him use his great club or just? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna use the club to smash down on his skull, very similar to uh, picture Edward Norton in American History X. Just, just <laughs> Carl <laughs> almost <laughs> lost his drink. <laughs> That's the noise. That's the noise he's gonna make. Just the seller's oh, snap. Oh, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So, uh, damn. So eight, and my chill touch does seven damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And seven damage? So my chill touch reaches out and grabs his head with my ghostly green claw hand. And then the club just smashes down. So I'm holding the head still while causing some... And that was seven damage, right? Fuck sakes. All right, so after being bludgeoned by his buddy and you using your ice touch, he's definitely in the prone position on the ground, whimpering in pain, bleeding out. His, like, face is kind of concaved from his buddy. Um, he's looking real bad. I think we can let him go. We, I think we've made our point. Because we walked into their territory, and they're defending their territory. So, so we think well, it's the biggest, the biggest threat. threat. Whose turn is it? Um, it would be the Charm Giant, but he's Charmed, so now it's Creed's go. 
that's why. Do we want to let him go and while the other one's still trying to find his den? Just imagine how pissed the one that uh, Bonesy is writing right now is going to be. When that's, the that's why I want to take, take advantage of the charm while we still have it instead of us being in his den, den and that comes out. out. Well, but I can always just make the giant go for a walk into the ocean after. Yeah, but make sure you rifle through his pockets beforehand. I 